I like spaghetti. I don't know. He's going to make him run. Think so? He's going to make him do PT with bellies full of spaghetti. Oh. Somebody puke on him. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time to start a new TV adventure. That's right. Band of Brothers. We're finally getting to it. We wanted to watch this for a while. Why haven't you ever seen this, though? I've seen it. War movie. Yeah. Same reason you ever watch Saving Private Ryan? Exactly. Yeah, just like, mm, not something I want to watch by myself. Okay. And never really got an opportunity to watch it with you. So well, Now we get to watch it with all of you. Love it. And me. And you. Uh, and, him too. And the movies. All of it. You, me, movies. Or you, me, the movies. Whatever. Who knows? It's produced by Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks. Yeah. And it's kind of the companion piece to Saving Private Ryan. I've heard nothing but amazing things about it. Very excited about it. It's about Easy Company of the 101st Airborne U.S. Army. Cool. And their band of brothers in this was, World War II. These were the ones that... Uh, Parachuted in. That's right. And they got all scattered up and mm-hmm. down. If you remember that from Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. They were all over the place. So we get to see their journey from boot camp to end of the war. Awesome. That's what this whole series awesome. is about. So That's kind of what I... Missed a little bit of in Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, it was just kind of that one mission, right? Yeah. All right, well, are you ready to jump in? I'm super ready, yeah. All right, let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us. We're going to watch Band of Brothers tonight. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below if you want full-length commentaries or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next, or early access to all our videos here on YouTube. Check it out. The link's down below. That's right. Oh, we also have Twitter and Instagram. So if you're into social media, you can follow us at you, me, the movies. Yeah, we just posted an awesome picture of her. Getting ready for Band of Brothers, so check it out. At Yumi the Movies on Instagram and Twitter. Life is awkward. Let's watch Band of Brothers. Let's do it. Guy says, well, you jump out of airplanes. You know, you got all your army equipment, you jump out of airplanes, blah, go to hell. Nobody put up their hands. The guy giving the the speech was saying, but you get paid $50 a month more. So that made it 100 bucks. (laughs) Get paid double? Yeah, I mean, different breed of humanity back Mm -hmm. then. Would you uh, jump out of airplane to go to work every day if you got paid double? No, probably not. Um, But I'm so grateful that they did. Yeah. I mean, this was the greatest generation, right? Like, Mm -hmm. name is absolutely fitting. I'm so excited for this. Yeah, you'll probably want to audible the the book after watching this. You think? Just to get the whole story from the author. Can you pronounce that? Kurahi. Good job. June 4th, 1944. Pottery, England. I'm sure I butchered the name of that. Gather up around me! The evasion has been postponed. We're on a 24 hour stand now. Bitch. Two sergeants, take charge. Yeah, all that anticipation, I can imagine it would just be like. Ugh, you gotta be kidding me. Should have been born earlier, Nix. What, and give up all this? We'll go to Chicago, I'll take you there. Actually, you know, it's from there. Oh, him. 712 days of that son of a bitch, and here we are. Two years earlier. Camp, Camp Tacoa, Georgia got a long way to prove that you belong here. Your weekend pass is revoked. Name? Lord Judge. Dirt in the rear sight at, but your pass revoked. Now, thanks to these men and their infractions, every man in the company who had a weekend pass has lost it. I mean, I am. He's kind of a butthead. Yeah. But that's like his job, so... Easy 
I mean, at least he runs with them. He's not just like riding his bike or something, you know? <laughs> that may be good enough for the rest of the 506, but that is not good enough for Easy Company. Makes me feel like I need to get my ass off the f this chair and go run a lap or something. Um, three miles up, three miles down. Such a piece of shit compared to these people. Sir, we got nine companies, sir. Yeah, we do. Well, I come we're the only company marching every Friday night. Why do you think, Private Random? Janet Sobel hates us, sir. He's just trying to make you the best. Lieutenant Sobel does not hate Easy Company, Private Random. He just hates you. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Christensen! Why is there no water in your canteen? Private Christensen, you have disobeyed a direct order. Repeat all 12 miles of the march immediately. Yes, sir. Fall out! Yikes. I want the names of six men, their infractions, and your disciplinary recommendations on my desk by 0130. Is that what infractions, sir? Find some. Why? So, what'd you do? Pick six men and gave them the shingle. Team. I think what? that's what they call that sh a shingle. Oh. Doesn't look too bad. Gravy like, on toast. Yeah, I like meat gravy and <laughs> toast, so. Stand in the door. Go! Come back. Come you just broke both your legs, private door. <laughs> Jesus, what the hell is this? Oh, that's big, that's boy. <laughs> Sir, you have 50 minutes to the top and back, and I will be watching you. What are you waiting for? It's like a three minute mile. <laughs> Faster than that, two and a half minute. 50 Th minutes, not 50. Oh, 50? Yeah, not oh, okay. 15. Okay. Heard him wrong. Still rough in full gear. Easy Company has the finest performance record in the entire 2nd Battalion. Pornography, contraband. Better hide my copy of Titter. This man had 200 prophylactic kits in his footlocker. How in the name of God was he going to have the strength to fight the war? <laughs> what is this? Peaches. All weekend passes are canceled, officers included. Yeah, he's just a big butthead. Colonel Sink has seen fit to promote you. As first lieutenant, he'll serve as my executive officer. Bummer. Gotta work directly for that guy. I am designating you mess officer for 14 days. A special meal before their afternoon off would be a welcome change of pace. I like spaghetti. I don't know, he's gonna make him run. Think so. He's gonna make him do PT with bellies full of spaghetti. Like how he uh, punished Winters for his promotion with mess hall duty. Yeah. What has changed? Get up! Oh, what a pencil. dick. Easy Company is running up curry! Just ate a gallon of spaghetti. <laughs> oh. Watch out, Private Boobler! Somebody puke on him. Why is he trying so hard to make them fail when he benefits from them doing well? No, no, no. Big strong yell at everybody guys. A little afraid. Mm -hmm. Afraid of heights. Think. If you had any class or style like me, someone might mistake you for somebody. You mean like your f***ing sergeant? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Are those dusty jump wings? How do you expect to slay the Huns with dust on your jump wings? <laughs> Is that Sam Rockwell? I don't know, but uh, his pin is not buttoned i want you to know that i'm damn proud of each and every one of you so i want you to have fun and remember our motto Karahe! Karahe! Yeah! 
So like a year later. Mm -hmm. I'm playing a war games sort of situation. Let's just get him. Sir, we have perfect cover here. So can I deploy your troops? Oops. Captain, you've just been killed, along with 95% of your company. Your outfit? He really screwed the pooch on that one. He's good at drilling for PT, but really bad with actual instincts for... For war. war. You'll learn him pretty quickly. Uh, no flaws, no vices, no sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, listen, if we discuss it, I think it should just be amongst ourselves. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Second platoon ready. You ever have one of those moments when you walk into a room and realize they were talking about you? It happens. <laughs> <laughs> it's always awkward for everyone. Awkward. Well, you know, I'm always fumbling with grenades. It'd be easy if one went off by accident. <laughs> New York City, troop ship, England. We're invading Europe, my friend. Fortress Europa. Since when do I drink? Well, if I thought you'd drink it, I wouldn't offer it to you. <laughs> oh, here we go. About to ship out. Flamingos are mean. They bite. So are the naked native girls. Not any love. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want a Quaker doing my fighting for me. How do you know he's a Quaker? He ain't Catholic. He's a sober. What's all that about? Idiots being idiots. Fighting over sober. That's smart. <laughs> yeah, stick to go fish. Nailed it. There should be no fence here. Tipper! Yes, sir. Give me the map. It's not good with a map, apparently, huh? Can you do major what? It's a wild bear <laughs> crap in the woods, huh? <laughs> no, no, sir, it's here. You're full grid off. Is there a problem, Captain Sobel? Who said that? Who I think it's Major Horton, sir. Major Horton? What, what is he? Did he join us? <laughs> what is the goddamn holdup, Mr. Sobel? <laughs> a fence, sir. Um... You cut that fence and get this goddamn platoon on the move. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Not <yet. laughs> You've done it now, Yanks. You've captured me. <laughs> Would that be the enemy? <laughs> who was the idiot who cut that man's fence? I was ordered to, sir. By who? Major Horton, sir. Major Horton? Yes, sir. Major, Major Horton is on leave in London. Oops. <laughs> With Captain Sobel's compliments, sir. <laughs> Lieutenant? Young Sam and Peg there. They're all so young, right? Mm -hmm. Like, really big-name actors now, just in their heyday. They're all much fa more famous now than they were then, that's for sure. Regardless, when given a task to perform by a ranking officer, you should have delegated your task of latrine inspection to another officer. Were to let such a failure of duty by my own XO go unpunished, what kind of message is that to the men? She's 
f***ing up so bad that he's making other people look, trying to make other people look worse. This will be denial of a 48-hour pass for 60 days. Stand before me at attention, or you may initiate a letter of appeal and request a trial by court-martial. You spend your weekends on the base anyway, dick. Be a man. Take the punishment. You gotta be f***ing me. It's gonna take the court-martial. I request trial by court martial. Because you're a prick. Get him out. And if you don't, winner scrambles eggs while the rest of us make the big jump with Sobel. Yikes. So we're going through with this, right? We've gotta do something. You're like, are they gonna go on strike? <laughs> I will not follow that man into combat. Me neither. There's nothing less than an act of mutiny while we prepare for the goddamn invasion of Europe. You can consider yourself lucky that we are on the eve of the largest action in the history of warfare. Now get out of my office and get out of my sight. Get. Would you have joined him? I don't know. Division has established a parachute training school at Chilton Foley. Frankly, I can't think of anyone more qualified to command such a school than you are. I'm reassigning you to Chilton Foley. I'm losing easy company? War if it needs you elsewhere. Good luck at Chilton Foley, I'd heard it. Don't let us down now. He'll convince himself that it's a promotion and it'll be fine. But you know why he's doing it, all right? He removed, he's removing the problem, yeah. Mm -hmm. He had already lost easy company. Those men didn't want to follow him. Right. Also, when you don't want to work with somebody, you just find them a new job. Didn't even salute Winters. A few legs, actually, so I can get your mince pies with some of this Jerry Clubber, if you know what I mean. What, what now? <laughs> yeah, it's Tucker, isn't it? What? Hey? He's got pig teeth. Genetic pig teeth, like me. Mm -hmm. Right over Ramsbury. Ramsbury. Every single time. Linear distance on the grid of about... So. It's Normandy. Figure out what he did there? I'm not following exactly. So their training jumps is the exact distance their actual jump is going to be from their takeoff point, and uh -huh. so they... Determined on where in Europe they would end up going oh. based on that. Because okay. they were staying in England for their test. They were trying to figure it out where they're going. Yeah. Hey, rashes, chocolate bars, charms, candy powder, coffee, sugar matches, compass, bayonet, entrenching tool, ammunition, gas mask. You know, they stop wasting as much as I do. I still got my shoot, my reserve shoot, my main West, my M1. That is a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Going to his brother in Italy, Henry, killed in Monte Casino. Well, I'm sure he doesn't know. Damn. What do you think I should do? If it were me, I'd tell him. A couple of hours before we jump? Did you tell him? I think I'd wait till you land. <laughs> Does anybody have any idea how the hell this thing works? <laughs> no jump tonight. The invasion has been postponed. Oh, jeez. We've caught up to where we started. Yeah. I was like, oh, not again. That was the same thing. <laughs> you know, it's a bad yourself. You are so I know. Not the wrong goddamn jacket. Don't your jackets have your names on them? Is that the letter about his brother dying? It's a hard thing to compartmentalize. Sorry about your brother, Bill. Sorry for my mom. He was, uh... Let's get this over with. So your favorite, is that what he's going to yeah, say? Yeah, probably. The sergeant switched his, switched his coat on purpose. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, they gotta be carrying like 150 pounds worth of 
stuff. Yeah, in between their legs. <laughs> oh, gosh. You can tell Winters is a good leader. Mm-hmm. Helping every man up. The beginning of the greatest land invasion of all time. Can you imagine watching all of those planes take yeah, off like that? Soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force, you are about to embark upon the greatest crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. Good luck, and let us all beseech the blessing of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking. General Dwight D. Eisenhower, Supreme Allied Commander. Oui. All right. First episode of Band of Brothers Down. Yeah, I mean... So far, right? Like already so powerfully. I mean, it just it, you feel the heaviness of the moments. Yeah. Right? That's such a, a beautiful thing that they're portraying. I mean, yeah, there's really no action in this. It's all character development and build up for the day you know is coming. Yeah. Right? Well, and you could, like, you could feel the dread. Mm -hmm. the anxiety in their pensive faces, right? Mm -hmm. and what were those men thinking Yeah, on their trips to you, war? I feel right? like you know exactly what they were thinking, um, even if you never experienced home, it. Right? Yeah, it's intensely powerful. So what do you think of David Schwimmer as uh, Sobel? He is easily unlikable, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> what an unlikable character. <laughs> You're a big fan of Friends, so... Uh, yeah, Ross is my least favorite character, yeah, though. So. Even more so now. <laughs> Definitely. You're going to see Sobel every time you rewatch Friends now. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, Sobel... Like, you ever, the thing is, he, it's believable because mm -hmm. everybody knows somebody like that, right? Somebody who is dead set on proving that they're the best, and they will take it so far that they will do everything in their power to make you look bad. Yeah. Just because they don't want to be the low... The, they don't want to look bad. Yeah. At the same time, he was trying to make Easy Company the best. Absolutely. He just didn't realize his faults of, you can only push men so far until you lose them. Yeah. And you need to also earn their respect while also leading them. Yeah. And he never got any of his men's respect. He was great at doing certain things. Mm -hmm. And I think the other his other failures that he did not understand his own failures, right? Yeah. All right, so they're in the air. Yeah, headed towards. Are you ready for beaches. the in the invasion? No, oh, I'm obviously next episode. I'm nervous about it, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, I remember that scene from Saving Private Ryan, and it was it was intense. And yeah, I, that was from the U boat, so we'll be seeing it from the sky. From now. the sky. Yeah, right? I imagine it will be less intense than the U boats, but I don't. I don't know. I could be completely yeah. wrong. <laughs> it could be completely wrong. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. So, uh, what do you think of Winters? Uh, obviously, a leader who men want to follow. You know, that's exactly yeah. what you want in a leader. And um, he's got the character of a person that people would follow. A man with no vices either. Doesn't smoke or drink. I think he just understands his roles and responsibilities. And he takes those seriously. And understands that if he has vices, he puts himself and all of his men at risk. Okay. What else is on your mind after these, this episode? I'm I'm looking forward to the next. Yeah. yeah. It's a good show. It's a good show. I'm excited to jump back. It's been a while since I've watched it, so I'm excited to rewatch it. Yeah, it, it gives me a heavy heart. Mm -hmm. So I um I know it's gonna be a tough watch, I think. This band of brothers. Well, what should people comment on? Favorite of the characters that we've met so far in yeah. Who's your favorite uh, private or sergeant or mm -hmm. lieutenant? An easy company of that we've met so far, yeah. right? or maybe of the whole series, without giving away spoilers. Sure, right? but uh, yeah. Anything else? Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out for uh, episode one of yeah. Band of Brothers. Curry, right? Curry. And check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full length commentaries, or access to polls to help pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.
Run zigzag, zigzag. Oh my god. Bunch of malarkey right there. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. It's time for more Band of Brothers. All right. And where were we? What were, where were we doing at the end of last episode? They had just. They were waiting to. Oh no! At the very end of the episode, they just got on the plane and were ready to jump. Yeah. D Day style. D Day was coming. Yeah. So it was an intense episode. Yeah. It was inter- It was a good episode because it's all character development. Yeah. Building the the characters, learning who they are, and what they were doing before D Day. They're they're training. Yeah, and then like the very end, it was like super heavy. Mm -hmm. Um, and now it's just going to be nothing but heavy from here on out because they're going to be in the middle of war war the whole time. Well, are you ready for D Day? Nobody is ever ready for D Day, but (laughs) But you just have to face it. Yeah. Right. Well, should we jump in and face D Day? I mean, we won't be. We'll just be watching other people face yeah. it. But yeah. All right, let's do it. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, fully commentaries, or access to polls. Double pick what we watch next. Links down below. We'll check it out. We also have Twitter and Instagram. So if you're into social media, you can follow us at You Me the Movies for both of them. Um, it's just some behind the scenes, hang out with us in real life, sort yeah. of. Or at the beginning of the month, you can see what we're watching for that. That's month. right. Calendar. Let's, check it out. let's watch Band of Brothers. Here we go. theme song is so good uh, it's it's fantastic i mean so much emotion and just the music right is it john williams i, I know he did saving private ryan like the freaking intro is enough to make you want to cry right <laughs> like holy <laughs> shit. just getting you in the mood so when the plane started to get hit and suddenly it the pilot gives me the green light. I'm out the door immediately. Got such an opening blast from the... That's when I lost this famous leg bag that everybody talks about just from the shock of the opening. Uh, it just flew right off my foot. And we lost a lot of people that night. But uh, you try to put it all on your mind. Day of Days, D-Day. I don't even understand logistically how you fly that many planes that close together without all of them just falling out of the sky. (laughs) Because they got to be getting crosswinds from everything, right? Drafting other people, that's crazy. She's got like huge goosebumps. Oh, Jesus. Cloud cover's just gone. Oh, God. Part that shocks me is jumping out with all those parachutes, how nobody gets hit by a plane. I know. That's what I was thinking. Like, how are you not just jumping straight into the plane behind you? The engines are all by the pilots. Not where they jump out, so. Yeah, but the plane's flying right behind that plane. Mm. (laughs) 
Oh, his, he's the one that lost his... Lost his bag? His, yeah, his foot bag or whatever it was. Winters doesn't have a gun. He doesn't have anything. <laughs> except for what's in his pockets. <laughs> Do you have any idea where we are, sir? Not a clue. Some. France? <laughs> First, I need your help. Locate some landmarks to get our bearings. Your eyes peeled for buildings, farmhouses, bridges, roads, trees. <laughs> I got us a knife and some TNT. These 82nd boys got there in Monzo. Oh, man, 82nd? Where the hell are we? <laughs> I saw a sign back that way. It said San Merrick Lees. Way off target. <laughs> He's got his decoder ring. The fields inland. We don't clear those roads. Our boys ain't going nowhere. Five of us ain't gonna secure the road. Then we don't even have a weapon. <laughs> Light it. Go. Guard here. You can tell it's a German horse. <laughs> the way it neighs. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Enough, guard near. Everyone okay? Sir, sir. Next time I say wait for my command, you wait for my command, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Fine, Quaker. I always not like him because he's <laughs> thinks he's a quick. His name, dummy, Garnier, gonorrhea, get it? <laughs> so besides having a <laughs> name, what's his problem? <laughs> None of your business, cowboy. He just found out his brother died. Remember? Yeah. And he doesn't like Winters because Winter, he thinks Winters is a pussy, right? Yeah. He just wanted you to wait for his command. Joe, he don't even drink. He just likes to be in control of his situation. Set a good example. Bummer. Where are you from, son? Eugene, Oregon. Eugene? You gotta be kidding me. I'm from Astoria. What gives? What are you doing in a kraut uniform? Volksdeutsche. My family answered the call. All true Aryans should return to the fatherland. What, what got you to Eugene? I was born in Eugene. <laughs> I honestly didn't know that was a thing. Hmm. He was probably a first generation... American-born. American born. Yeah. His parents were probably German. At this year's hall, Abel Company, known as Cowboy, from Texas, Manhattan. It's a really shitty nickname. Is he gonna kill him all? Two guns that we know of firing on Utah Beach. We plan on a third and a fourth here and here. The Germans are in the trenches. How many crowds do you think we're facing? No idea. No idea. We'll be making the main assault. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shouldn't you be outside with the other Able Company guys? See you around, all. That Hall guy wanted to go with him. Wrong company. Mm, cabbage. 
I'll draw their fire to the right from the truck. Take two men and hit him from the left. Okay, go. Right. Take Ranny, envelop right, give covering fire. Ray, on a machine gun. I want that TNT as soon as you see we've captured the first gun. Go. Ray Egan. Thinking I don't understand anything they just said, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Grenades. Jesus Christ. Jeez, jockey. At least he's trying. Oh. What lucky bastard, Joe. <sighs> Not a Quaker. What? Not a Quaker. Nope. Where you hit, Pop? I can't believe I'm f***ing up my ass, sir. Your ass. <laughs> okay. Clears! Point the clock! Oh. Had lucky twice. Okay. Don't drop this one. It's like, don't know what you're saying, so that's not helpful. He brought his brass knuckles, too. Run zigzag, zigzag. Oh my god. Bunch of malarkey right there. Yeah. You think this is a ticket home? Maybe. <laughs> I just got here. <laughs> you actually didn't want to hear that. Jimmy Trap gonorrhea. right that kid. Jesus, you gotta hold Potato mashers. You know what those are? Those are the grenades, the German grenades. No. Oh. Because they're like a cylinder on a stick when they throw them with the stick. Oh. They kind of look like a potato masher. Like a potato masher? That's where you just shove down the pipe. Yeah, okay. Okay, Hall. Keep your head down. Hall. Keep your TNT. Hall. Dang it. He gave it a good go. I'm looking for battalion headquarters! Are you kidding? It's back down away! Do we know <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, well, you found some battle plans. We disabled them and pulled out. We killed maybe around 20, so yeah, probably there's 40 left. They got the big guns, though. Yeah. Most of the 101st Airborne, including Easy Company, was still scattered all over Normandy. We had an hour to rest and scrounge whatever food we could before we had to move south and secure the town of Coulterville. 
How we doing, Malar? We're doing good. <laughs> doing good? Yeah. 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 A little bonfire inside the back of a truck. In an ammo can. Make some stew. Good evening. Hello, sir. Something dying here? Yeah, Malarkey's ass. <laughs> <laughs> sir, a jar of lieutenant don't drink. In a day of first. Yeah, it tastes like shit, right? First time he's ever killed a man, first time he's ever taken a drink. Sergeant? Sir. I'm not a Quaker. <laughs> you don't like Gas the County, he's probably a Mennonite. What's a Mennonite? <laughs> what? You know that map you found? That had every crowd gun in Normandy on it. Oh yeah? Yeah. That should be helpful. I would say. That night I took time to thank God for seeing me through that day of days. And if somehow I managed to get home again, then I would find a quiet piece of land someplace and spend the rest of my life in peace. So That's a good plan. A partial Quaker. Just Future Quaker. Civ civic duty though. Yeah, it's a good plan. For destroying the German guns at Brie Court Manor, the following medals were awarded. Bronze Stars, Silver Stars. Distinguished Service Cross was awarded to Lieutenant Richard Winters. Easy Company's capture of the German battery became a textbook case of an assault on a fixed position and is still demonstrated at the United States Military Academy at West Point today. Very cool. There you go, you learned something today. I learn something every day. Oh, okay. But today I definitely learned a little bit about a military assault. Yeah. I wasn't Winters. exactly sure what they were doing. Well, Winters was making it up as he went. He nailed it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just covering fire and distraction fire on one side. While other men are flanking around the back. Taking them out. Yeah. So, pretty smart. Well, yeah. All right. What's on your mind after that episode? Uh, I think he summed it up pretty well when he said it was a day of firsts for everything, you know? Mm -hmm. like it was a, a day full of firsts. Yeah. I mean, first day on the ground, first day at war, first day shooting people, first day seeing people killed, yeah. yeah. First day taking a drink. Imagine it was a, a day where you just didn't feel like eating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that... uh Losing the guy it wasn't even his man. It was just a guy who wanted to go with him and fight with him because yeah. it was the first guy he met on land mm -hmm. when he landed his parachute. He didn't have the rest of his company, yeah. so he gave him an order, and that guy ran into a probably a, a mine, like a trip mine or a yeah something. But uh, yeah, so he feels guilty that first leader guilt of yeah. somebody under your command losing their life. So he's got a. Think on that for the hour of rest they get before they're moving yeah. on to their next target. Yep. Ordered him that direction and died because of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a, it's a heavy, heavy thing to have to go through as a leader of that command, right? And he went in the, he took that order without hesitation and went full board into the, the trench, into the True rabbit soldier. hole. Right? True soldier who was just a radio guy. Yep. yep. Even the radio guys are true soldiers. He's a rifleman first. That's right. Yeah. Very cool. So yeah, that whole opening scene of the planes, though. Oof, oh, I know. Intense. Oof. You see in D-Day, that's actually before the U-boats got to shore. So right. they flew in ahead of them to drop behind the lines to, to try and get the guns. Yeah, to that distract were them so that the, the boats could line, get onto right? the shore. Yeah. And uh, they were scattered all over across Normandy, and they're still scattered all across Normandy. Yeah. It might be a couple more episodes for. What's left of Easy Company's unit reunited, right? Mm-hmm. Anything else on your mind? No, just great, great writing. Yeah. Great which, production. Which people comment on? Favorite of the characters? Yeah. Characters. I kind of asked that last episode. Not really characters. They're people. <laughs> um, okay, well then, what's, up? what's something else? Well, since it was D-Day, should we say, do you have a relative or, you know, grandfather great grandfather who uh fought on d-day let us know that's right what their task was grateful what, for them what company they were part of and were they in a u-boat were they parachuting let us know were they flying planes yeah let us know in the comments below 
about uh, your World War II family history. We'd love to hear it. Absolutely. We love those stories. So Absolutely. Yeah. Let us know to me. Thank your family for their service. and the- Sacrifice. Yeah. Anything else? Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out for Band of Brothers Part 2. Yeah, but check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full length commentaries, access to polls, help us pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. Yes, sir. Okay. He's like, yeah, I'm standing right here. <laughs> Not so safe. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time for more World War II epicness with Band of Brothers. And uh, do you remember where we left off? They had jumped out of the planes mm-hmm. and were all scattered around. Nobody was where they were supposed to be. Yep. And they kind of found random people scattered along the way. Random, like, companies. Yeah, Winters got... He had a couple of people that weren't from his company, but he found, like, maybe half a dozen of his. Yeah. And then they had their first big battle. Yeah. Well, They had a little operation to do to take yeah. out some stationary guns. And they nailed it. Mm-hmm. They did a great job. And then... Uh, they were moving. Yeah, they had an hour of rest, and then they were about to move on to their next point oh, yeah, location. of attack. So see where they're going next. Let's see maybe if they get more of their band of brothers back together from this yeah, hope, scattered Hopefully they can find some Normandy. more of themselves, yeah. yeah. Well, let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for Band of Brothers. Yeah, and check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Also of Twitter and Instagram, so if you like social media, come check us out at You, Me, The Movies. Yep, on both of them. Yep. Check it out. Let's watch Band of Brothers. Here we go. I mean, is the intro going to make me cry? Because, like, just the music is so... I feel like the music gets me every time now. Maybe. I think it's, like, the building of the orchestra with... The choir vocals, like, it's just beautiful. Mm-hmm. The piano. I thought one of two things, a quick death uh, or i come through probably without a scratch. <laughs> People that can handle fear, I think... Uh, I think I was probably one of them. I think I was just a, you try to handle your fear and and work to accomplish what you're supposed to be doing. Courage isn't the absence of fear. It's overcoming your fears. June 8th, 1944, Normandy, France. Hey, Blythe, thought that was you. We've been fighting with the 502nd since we hit the ground. You? I've been, uh, trying to find easy. Join the club. <laughs> or is he just standing there for the last two days? Right. <laughs> My lure is gonna put you all to shame when I get it. <laughs> My lark is actually gonna get a, a luger. I for I hope he does. <laughs> He's gonna die trying, right? <laughs> he almost did. Huh? We're taking care in town. That sounds like fun. It's the only place where armor from Omaha and Utah Beach can link up. General Taylor sent in the whole division. Remember, boys, give me three days and three nights of hot fighting, and you will be relieved. <laughs> Another thing to remember, boys. 
Why spread disease? So keep your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what if you gotta take a leak? <laughs> Do it very carefully. We lost F Company, sir. Again? We lost F Company. Again? What? Go back and pass the word to hold up. Yes, sir. Bubler, take Blythe. Go find F Company. Yes, sir. Come on, Blythe. Are you walking too slow? Or F Company's just walking too fast. Yeah. It's dark out. I can hear y'all all the way across the field. You F Company. That's right. Go back to the lieutenant. Tell him we found F Company. Dead private. Did you find Fox Company? Yes. I thought he, I thought he had me. Could we push him over so that? <laughs> That's Edelweiss. That only grows uh, in the Alps above the tree line, which means he climbed up there to get it. It's supposed to be the mark of a true soldier. Climb the Alps, huh? D Day plus six. You ever been to France? Mm hmm. I wanted to take the first straight up the middle, hard and fast. We have to go. Let's go first. Let's go. They're all like, Are you sure? Because they're just firing right at us. I thought Winters was just standing in the middle of the road telling everybody to move, move. <laughs> Whew. A good shot. Here's the piano. Got one. Good instincts. Now what's going on? Dropping bombs on him. Artillery from a distance. What? Did you hear it? I can't hear. <laughs> Are they dropping bombs from the sky or? That. That shot. Those two shots right there. So big ass guns from a distance. Oh boy. Oh god. You're okay, Lily. Everything's right where it should be. <laughs> oh. oh god. Hi, Karumba. Up, all right. Okay, guys, you want to give me a hand here? Come on. A war chaplain. That's yeah. <laughs> we'll tell your CO five hundred six arrived in force and secured all positions south of you. Yes, sir. I'll tell him. Come on, fat boy. Let's go. <laughs> he steal that horse? You think? Is it safe to cross? You want to move the wounded? Uh, yes, sir. 
Okay. He's like, yeah, I'm standing right here. <laughs> Not so safe. I can't see a thing. Well, you just take it easy, Blood. Psychosomatic. Uh, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. You can see? I don't know what happened. I, I, I think I think I'm okay. Going on with him. Some sort of trauma anxiety issue? I don't know. Interesting. Did you keep staring at the sun? I know. Stop looking at the sun, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what are you seeing black? <laughs> Out of town, Lieutenant. Already? That's right. Don't they know we're just getting settled here? He's an interesting guy. Mm -hmm. You see, that's why I don't believe he really did it. Oh, you don't believe it? Whoa, whoa, you didn't whoa, see I it? heard he didn't do it. You heard? He took that last 105 on D-Day practically by himself. Running through MG fire like a maniac. Yeah, that I did see. Remember, he was the one running out of the, the trench to get that last gun. Did a lot of walking. Mm hmm. Good thing they're in the best shape of their lives, huh? Yeah. Three miles up, three miles down, got them into shape, huh? I'm saying that we're never in the middle. And we're the fifth of nine companies of this regiment. <laughs> Think of it. See there? You see that? Just stuck. Hear the Germans singing. Hell, we're just moving the ball forward one yard at a time. Nothing but a game. What is sir? this? No, thank you, sir. So I think there's water in that canteen. Do you? No. Something stronger. I'll survive. How is it? Hurts. War as hell. He's enjoying it a bit too much. Huh? I think so. I don't know. Just a game. Maybe that's the defense mechanism he has to have to be there doing what he's doing, right? What the hell are you doing? That's Talbert. I didn't. God damn. You just stab his guy. Got some nervous privates in your company. We do, sir. We, we do. He's one of them. <laughs> but Blythe, the only hope you have is to accept the fact that you're already dead. And the sooner you accept that, the sooner you'll be able to function as a soldier is supposed to function. Without mercy, without compassion, without remorse. I don't think a spirit, huh? It's a unique perspective, but everybody has to have their own perspective to get through it, right? Yeah. Suppose for him that's effective. Mortars. Last thing you want to see against infantry. That did that the gave tanks. the order. Get up on your feet, soldier. Get up, fly. Fire your weapon, fly. Get up, fly. 
He just needs winders in his back pocket. He brought him out of that blindness. He brought him out of yeah. that. Come on, come on, come on. I got one. God damn. I know, I was not feeling good about this scenario. I was like, wow, they're all going to die right now? Oh, my. Crunch. Did you get him? That knocked it out, knocked him out of his days. Hard to say. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, he's going to track him. Uh, two weeks later. Hmm. Need to take a look at that farmhouse. Who wants to go? <laughs> I'll go. Anybody else? Live lead scout. Move out. What exactly are you doing with your reserve shoot? You been hauling that thing around ever since we jumped? Gonna send it to Kitty when we get back to England. Figure it'll make a good wedding dress, you know? What with rationing and all. A silk wedding dress? What? I'm so sentimental. No, that you think we're gonna make it back to England. <laughs> okay. Here we go again. Covering fire! Covering fire! Go, go! All right, Blah, I got you. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Don't They're pulling us off the front line. Now, to a field camp north of Utah Beach. Is Blythe gonna make it? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. I did make it. He didn't die. Jeez. Shoot a motorcycle with a sidecar. That'd be sweet. He pulled on his poncho and headed out to check the lines dressed like a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> the night of the bayonet. So very weary. He got stabbed. <laughs> I could have shot the kid a dozen times. Yeah, right. I just didn't think we could spare a man. No bad news. All passes are hereby revoked. We're heading back to France. So pack up all your gear. We will not be returning to England, boys. Trucks depart from memory at 0700. As you were. Short vacation. Yeah. No, no, thank you. A bit of a 
hurry. But uh, thank you anyway. Oh, um, Private. Yes, ma'am. Lieutenant Mion's one of yours, isn't he? I hope he hasn't forgotten his laundry. Mion? Was that his stuff from before they left? Might be. You, um, you couldn't be a dear help me with a few others, could you? Sergeant Evans, Private Moyer, Blozer, Blythe. Oh, no. By the time Easy Company was pulled off the line on June 29th, they had lost 65 men. Albert Blythe never recovered from the wounds he received in Normandy. He died in 1948. Ugh. His face. She was naming all those names. Shocking reality. Yeah. Though. Knowing those were all the men that they lost. Yeah. Including, like, from D-Day, because that was their... Yeah, men tenant. that they didn't even... Get to see. Yeah. Ugh. Blythe. He's just gotten over his uh, his fears. Mm -hmm. He's volunteering. He, he wasn't dead then, but died four years later. Yeah, he... Died. I wonder how long he was in a... If he was in a bed the whole time, or... Possibly... Kind of like looked like he kind of might have been in a coma or something. Perhaps he looked pretty unresponsive there. That last shot of him, but yeah, him volunteering for that job right before they're getting pulled back. Yeah. So sucks. All right, that was a heavy episode. It was. Some losses for Easy Company. Mm -hmm. What's on your mind? They did a great job of through the lens of Blythe, mm -hmm. really showing how. Soldiers are all different. I mean, how they all react differently yeah. and deal differently with their jobs. Yep. I mean, you could see the different lieutenants, mm -hmm. their thought. Like, there's the one that's drinking the whole time. Yeah. And then Spears, he was saying, we're already dead. Just get that through your head. Right. All right. And then Winters is just running around coaching everybody. So it's interesting how everybody copes with the fear and... Moves past it. Yeah. Or it doesn't. Or, yeah, or it doesn't. Yeah. War's rough. And I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, so, for those who do, we thank them. Absolutely. Can't imagine. Anything else on your mind? Thanks for hanging out for Band of Brothers. Hopefully we'll see you next yeah. time. Let us know, uh, if you uh, have any comments on this episode. Mm -hmm. right? That's right. Hard to ask you specifically what to ask on some of this stuff. So just comment away whatever you feel like after this heavy episode. Yep. Right? And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full length commentaries, or access to polls, elves, people we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. Chocolate. A big old chocolate bar in it. Never tasted chocolate. <laughs> now he's gonna eat a whole pound of it. <laughs> he's not gonna feel good later. <laughs>
him dying later. So it was more about his emotional, yeah. mental struggles. Him coping with the fear yeah, of war. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. How everybody copes with it differently and how his his coping mechanisms. And then like right when he was like, Yeah, I, I got this. He got bam, yeah. He got shot. shot. Well, what's next? Do you remember where they were at? about to take off to? No. I think they were heading Oh, back they were into, back in England. They were about to head back. Ship back into France. So should we jump in and see where they go? Let's check it out. Let's watch some more Band of Brothers. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for Band of Brothers. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, access to full-length commentaries or polls to help us pick what we watch next. Link's down below. Check it out. We also have Instagram and Twitter. So if you like social media, you can come follow us on at you, me, the movies. Yeah, on mm -hmm. both of them. Both? Mm -hmm. Let's watch Band of Brothers. Let's do it. You ready? Yep. They accept people coming in like myself as a replacement. All right, they, they eventually blend right in. They were like heroes to us you know that's how we looked at them and they were good so all the guys replacing the uh ones they lost the last couple hmm. weeks months you know it's a good thing we weren't gambling oh, right? boy, you, know we what what you want to bet what yeah, yeah, okay, one, one, shot, one shot one shot sure, why not yeah make it two two packs two packs two packs here we go here we go one shot very good good hey she's sharking them i'm less hashy Tony Garcia, I know we are. Oh, gonorrhea don't miss nothing. <laughs> hey, come on. Just curious, because he's right-handed. George. What would I do without George Luz? Boop! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Heffern's just staring up at the nose of the plane, because on it, I painted this beautiful pinup, Doris, for the skirt, who just that day sent babe one of them letters. Mission canceled. In other words, Babe don't have to risk getting inside old Doris again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> it's McAvoy. This here is Carver Lipton, the new Easy Company first sergeant. More bad news? Mm. Hate to break the mood here, boys, but uh. We're moving out again. Buzzkill. If this works, these tanks will be over the Rhine and into Germany. That could end the war, get us home by Christmas. Mm. Intelligence doesn't expect much opposition. They think the Krauts in Holland are mostly kids and old men, and we should take them by surprise. In any case, say goodbye to England. I don't think they're going to call this one off. They must have called off the last one then. Oh, he's back. They're all like, oh, God, no. <laughs> Please don't let him be in charge. Some other unit. Yeah. Can you make the jump? Oh, sure, I can't lip. I just can't sit. <laughs> he's the one that got shot God, in the yeah. ass. He just said I was lucky. I could sit out this jump if I wanted. I said I didn't want to. So he says, hop in. Hop in. Yeah, I know. I couldn't believe it either. Hey, maybe he's going to court martial me later. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you thought you'd get away with it? What do you mean, sir? Sergeant, that motorcycle is United States Army property. That may not mean anything to you, but it means something to me. Where'd you find it? <laughs> Malarkey's joyride last episode. Green light comes on. You could just tap me, all right? The green light will be next to you, sir. Just do it. That's an order. Is he colorblind? Must be. Did they know about colorblind this World War II? Mm, yeah, sure. Is Sobel jumping with them? I doubt it. Or is he just it's supply just an there. officer back at the base? Yeah. Oh, gosh, that sight. Can you imagine all those parachutes? We 
how's the guy with the shot ass gonna land, right? Are they supposed to land on their butts? Maybe he's gonna land and roll forward as much as possible. Where'd you get that from, Uber? Some Holland beer. It shook it up real good, though. Okay, hold your fire. Well, that was easy. Yeah. <laughs> Return the kiss. Sergeant Talbert, let's move. We got work to do. <laughs> Some random girl. Uh oh. Oh, jeez. Um. All the Jewish. What did they do? They slept with the Germans. Oh. It's very confused. The men who collaborated are being shot. Mr. Van Koyk here is with the Dutch resistance. They killed the men. Yeah. <laughs> we're, uh, we're Americans. Paratroopers. The Germans are gone? I think so. Are you here to stay? Mm -hmm. As long as we have to. Yeah, they don't uh, tell us very much. <laughs> they all speak English. They all love us. What a fantastic country. Hey. <laughs> it's a lot of chocolate. It's a big old chocolate bar, isn't it? <laughs> you never tasted chocolate. I was going to eat a whole pound of it. <laughs> He's not going to feel good later. <laughs> that was probably his only chocolate bar for like the whole operation. His, his on. one ration yeah. of chocolate. That's why it was probably so big. Right? Lieutenant! Nice hit. It looks like identical to a PUBG. <laughs> right? <laughs> Gun jammed. Hey, hey, hey. What's he saying? It's a little away, away, which either means the Germans have gone or he wants us to go. I don't know. What other language do they speak in Holland? German. Mix Mostly, of, I think. English and German. I don't know. Holland people. What do you speak? Hollandaise. Dutch. I and I <laughs> It's Holland and Dutch the same thing? I have no idea. <laughs> See that? Yeah, a huge fing tank <laughs> under some hay. Oh no, oh no. Oh, 
Oh god, there are a lot of them. Nice shot. Ooh. Oh, good. Miller! Oh, boy. Leave me here for the Germans. What? Okay. You nuts! Who carry you? You get the highway more than both of you two guys combined. Get a door. Go, go. How bad? I don't know yet. Next. I'm all right. Am I all right? Yeah. Yeah, you're all right. Yeah, quit looking at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> Grazed his head. Thank God for the helmet. Placement guy's first taste of action. Did not go very well. Good for him. Oh my gosh. Now he's behind enemy lines. Yeah. Never fired a shot. Gun was jammed. He's injured. Fine, if you won't, I will. It's like, I, I got big was, sausage fingers. Yeah, it was pretty deep, and my hands are really big. <laughs> oh. Shrapnel from the tank. Yeah. Oh, no. Do you know German by chance? Not a lick of it. No spriggen ze Deutsch. Good choice. About that guy's buddies, though, they're gonna come looking for him. That's okay. I'll go. Me too. Go get him. Not us. What I would have been thinking the whole time. <laughs> Such an idiot. Bombing Eindhoven. Yeah. The town they just yeah. were, were welcomed in. Their plan did not work out so well.
<laughs> but you thought we'd given up on you there, huh, boss? Shut up, cop. What? They all got in that Jeep. <laughs> they gotta go back to that town. <laughs> oh, good. Maybe heading into some more tanks. Well, as long as there's only old men and kids. Market Garden was a high-risk operation that failed. The Allies' plan to end the war by Christmas 1944 was not to succeed. Easy Company's regiment, the 506th, lost 180 men while 560 were wounded. Of the entire 101st Airborne, 750 were killed and 2,100 injured. At Arnhem, the British 1st Airborne lost nearly 8,000 men. Ooh. Ooh. I think those were British tanks, right? Yeah. Yeah, they were working with England. Mm. All right. Brutal to watch them lose. Yeah, yeah, that sucks. Market Garden. I always remember that uh, battle from the video game Battlefield 1942. Hmm. It's like a big town map with a big steeple church in the middle of it. What Huge, we just yeah, saw there. lots of yeah. armor. So yeah. Holy cow. Bull. Caught behind enemy lines? What do you think of that? Feel for him. I mean, gosh, in that moment where he's like, kill or be killed, right? Like, ugh. And then to have to do it with a young girl watching you. Yeah, hiding underneath a bridge. Drain pipe, basically. Waiting for the Germans to just pass by. Yeah, waiting for him to move on. Whew. Yep. And then almost getting crushed by that tank to begin with. Oh my like, gosh, how terrifying. Yeah, but he's still alive. Where do they go to next, you think? I don't know. So I think Holland is right on the, like, border of so France, Holland, Germany. It's like the north. Holland is the northern part. I'm the right worst there, at geography. Close to, uh, I, think, I think Holland might be on the, the coast between, like, England and the Straight. Let's not speculate. I don't know. No? Okay. I don't know. I don't know European geography at all. Well, you should study a map. <sighs> Someday. Yeah. But his five men, his replacement guys, went out looking for one. It seemed like they didn't get very far. No. no. The Jeep found him the next morning. Right? Well, they had to have been pretty far away from... Where they... They retreated pretty far, yeah. I would imagine, so... They probably halfway there. had to there. hoof it pretty far. Yeah. The Jeep goes faster. Then, what, Knox is his name? Taking that bullet off the, the helmet there? Yeah, that was scary. <laughs> he pooped his pants a little bit. Yeah. Thank God for the helmet. Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's on your mind after this one? Oi. Oi? Yeah. Yeah, it's just intense to to watch. Yeah, and then a young McAvoy. The yeah, he didn't last li- long. A little bit in one episode. Did not last long. But I mean, he was young in this. Yeah, he sure was. Fresh out of acting school. Well, what should people comment after this episode? Maybe you know some European geography. Can you tell us more about Holland? I mean, they'll have time to Google it, so Google it. Let us know <laughs> <laughs> the European geography that... He doesn't. Me either. I know geography a little bit. It's just hard to... like Geography and social studies were my... Uh, Was your jam? Yeah. I like yeah. geography and history. So, But it's been a while since I've practiced and studied it. So, Yeah. Well, you Europeans. Where's Holland in the mix? And what, what language do they speak in, in Holland? Yeah, I know they... Sp- I, th- I think it's like English and German or maybe Dutch. I don't know. Well, that's Maybe where we're. Where, that's why we're asking the people. They well, the definitely credits right know. there say young Dutch girl and Dutch farmer's son. So I think they must be speaking Dutch and English. Well, Dutch people are from Holland. I just don't know if they have their own language or if they speak a different okay. language. Yeah. And they're just called Dutch people. I mean, Dutch people are from Holland. Yeah. I just don't know if they have their own language. Okay. Let us know. Yeah. Yeah, let us know. I mean, sandwiched in between all these countries, you probably speak all of them, actually, yeah. right? 
we're Americans, so we only speak one. <laughs> <laughs> Europeans, they, they speak ca- a lot. They, they kind of got to speak a couple. Right? Got to leg up on us, that's for sure. <laughs> moving around the borders a lot, so let us know some geography lessons for for after this episode, right? Yeah, and then you know, by the geography, we should be able to figure out what languages they speak. I'm guessing French, German, and English. Yeah. That would Dutch. be my guess. Yeah. And, and Dutch, probably. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe it's a language. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out for Band of Brothers. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access, full length commentaries, access to polls, up and speak what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. I know if I just went to Paris, I would just eat so much bread. Yeah. I mean, that's basically all I did while I was there. I <laughs> ate baguettes and croissants. It's about <laughs> lots of baguettes. French bread. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time for more World War II. We're hitting the halfway point tonight. Episode 5. What's going on in Band of Brothers? The war. Yeah, the war. <laughs> I don't do you, do remember. Do you remember what happened last episode? Sergeant Bull got left behind enemy lines. They went back and rescued him. Yeah. Well, he kind of took care of himself. And he did, kind of, yeah. Time. And uh, they had their first major loss. Yeah, they lost that battle. Oh, Market Garden. Mm-hmm. So. Kind of got their butts handed to them. So where do they go to next, do you think? I have no idea. We've gone through France, gone to Holland. Where are they going to go next? Do you know your geog- geography not yet? at all. No. You haven't looked at I a map have, of I have not, have not looked at one in quite a few years, actually. <laughs> I haven't had a need. I don't... Yeah, well, this should, uh, you know, spark your... You want me to you know, Google it? Not right now. All right. We got, we got work to do. <laughs> but uh, maybe on your free time sometime. Well, yeah, all of the free time I have. Should we jump in and see where they go to next? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Pew, pew. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full length commentaries, access to polls, helps pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. We also have social media, so if you want to check us out on Twitter or Instagram, you can follow us at you, me, the movies. On both of them. Yep. Check it out. Let's watch Band of Brothers. Here we go. I do? Yeah. Not left handed. I figure you grab it like this. You don't drink out of it. I'm a right handed person. I know, but if it's on your left side, so I just assume you use your left hand. I could drink left handed. It's not like it's really hard to take a drink left handed. It's just weird. Is it though? Yeah. Weirder than reaching across your body to grab a cut? Right handed. I feel like I'm ambidextrous with a cup, okay? Okay. Well, this episode's directed by Tom Hanks. Every time with the song. It's beautiful. If you're a leader, you lead the way. Not just uh, on the easy ones, you take the tough ones, too. Seemed like he always made the right decisions along the way. He was a real soldier. Uh, some of the officers, uh, I don't think I would follow them in the water. Do we know who you're talking about? He never thought of not being first or sending somebody in his place. I don't know how he survived, but he did. Who are they talking about? Goosebumps. I like gave you goosebumps? Yeah. Crossroads. October 17th, 1944. Schunderlock, Holland. He's the one they were talking about. Think so? Yeah. Let's go. Uh, let me know. Okay. Oh. oh, 
That's my own piss, for Christ's sake! Why'd you pee in a pitcher? <laughs> Just the British lost 8,000 men when Market Garden fell on its ass, which is why... Yikes. If you need anything at all, you come to me. I can hardly ask for more. Captain Wears. Sir, I haven't seen your endorsement on the Market Garden after action report. Or the updated battalion TO and E. Why is that? I have them in CP-1300, sir. I didn't understand about, like, the, most of what they just said. <laughs> most of what they were just talking about. October operation. I need your report. The report, yes, sir. Light a fire under it, Dick. Sir. He's behind on his paperwork. Mm-hmm. What you call it, Tap? Trigger. Of course, I like that. It's Ray Rogers' horse's name. All right, get him on the table. Yeah, it's Allie. Where was it? Crossroads. Where the world crosses a dike. First squad on your feet. Weapons and ammo only. Give me room. Let's move. Let's go. Where the hell are they shooting? What's down that road? Regimental headquarters. But that's three miles away. Why are they giving away their position? <laughs> Did you get those hand signals? No. no. I think he said the two o'clock matinee is on time still. You jokes are stupid. What are you shooting at? Prisoners? Or just like drunk target practice? Like, I don't. First on the right. Third on the right. Nail the machine gun. Second on the left. First on the left. Who's first on the right now? They're all moving around. They had their targets before they started moving. They're meant to continue to to just follow that target then? Yeah, probably. There's more men there than they expected. Yep. So how many crowds are we talking about? Well, there's a ferry crossing here, so it could be a whole battalion as far as I know. Oops. Is he drinking more than anything? Or he's just getting a refill? I don't know why I'm still doing this. He's the inventory guy right now. Okay. <laughs> No, I didn't your foot locker. No. Dick, you know, that's not literature. You just keep it simple. Try writing in the first person plural, you know. Say we a lot. Thanks for the tip. Winters' uh, reports are probably like... Very detailed. Yeah, graphic details. No, wait, wait for the signal. Winters is way ahead of them. <laughs> Are they all napping? Looks like it. Holy oh no. It's a whole other company. Oh, <laughs> Fire for a fight. Hold her. What else? Can you? Air support. 
that's what Winters just called in. Probably heavy artillery from battalion headquarters. Oh, So is his report good or bad? I don't know. <laughs> I'm inclined to say bad, but that went much better than expected, I think. Yeah. You have one round. Johnny, how many prisoners do we have? Got 11 right now, sir. Okay. You drop a prisoner, the rest will jump you. I want all prisoners back at Battalion CP alive. Sir. He's got a grenade, though. <laughs> they got me. You believe that? You believe I said that? <laughs> <laughs> He's just annoyed with himself that he said that out loud. The Germans were flooding back towards the ferry crossing when we hit them with artillery. Then they hit us with their 88 zeroed in on this crossroad. And we were lucky, though. Only 22 wounded. Lucky. 22 is not ideal. I think Nick saying lucky meant... Lucky that more didn't die, or hmm. lucky that only 22 got wounded, or not lucky at all. You got a drink of water? Yeah, it's water. <laughs> I think Winters is thinking. I think he's thinking that he failed, even right. though he succeeded yeah. moving you up to executive officer second battalion colonel strayer is well he could use some help who do you think would be taking over easy sir moose heiliger can command easy come lieutenant heiliger would be my choice sir good you pack your gear and come on up to battalion cp yes, sir hence the paperwork yeah now he's a paper pusher executive sure he officer. loves that oh if uh if they do run into any trouble you let me know yeah. You run into any bacon sandwich, do the same, all right? Yeah. I think Winters likes not being mm. at the front line with his men. Hard. Hard to give up that Going from that control being there. the first to run the attack. To right? the paper pusher. Yeah. Yeah. Making it possible for us to return and fight the enemy on another day. Yeah. To easy company. Victory and Kurahi. The first mission with Adam. They did good. Trust your non coms. Halt! It's moved. Hold your fire! You just killed your new freaking captain. Sorry, sir. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Jesus Christ. Where are you from, Trooper? Think Moose lived through that? Oh, God, I hope so. Lieutenant Heiliger, sir. It's recovering, but it's going to be a long haul. Thanks, Bill. You took a lot of bullets. Hey, Bill. Sir. No more joyriding, right? Did Garnier get uh, hurt in combat or joyriding? I'm guessing joyriding. <laughs> what are you telling me? You, my friend, are headed to Paris. City of Lots. It's been decided that you need a little dose of civilization. Second that. Ah, uh, Paris. <laughs> I know if I just went to Paris, I would just eat so much bread. Yeah, I mean, that's basically all I did while I was there. I <laughs> ate baguettes and croissants. It's about lots I'll of baguettes. Good French bread. The right shot got to him, huh? Yeah. It's like a fish out of water. 
The costume department set me up with these great navy whites. <laughs> I've seen this before. That can be arranged too. She thinks she buys her, so he starts. Buck. Hi. Is that any good? Uh, yeah. It's a real corker. Elements of the first and the sixth SS Panzer Division have broken through in the Ardennes Forest. All officers report to respective HQs. All passes are canceled. He he does not look good. Yeah. He looks like he's lost his nerve. I think when he got shot, like one bullet went through both his legs, and he had entry and ent exit wounds on both legs. Yeah. No sir. K rations, as many as you can scrounge. We don't know if we'll be resupplied or not. Yes sir. What about ammo? There is no more ammo. Distribute it amongst the men as best you can, so at least everybody has something. Inform Lieutenant James of the situation. Get all your platoons as best equipped as you can, and then report back here to me. Understood? Yes, sir. Doesn't look like they're ready for this counterattack. Christ, I missed those C-47s. Got a tailgate jump here. <laughs> <laughs> They'd rather jump out of a plane. Mm -hmm. Junior. You got any ammo, Junior? Uh, just what I'm carrying. What about socks, Junior? You got extra socks? <laughs> you need four minimum. Feet, hands, neck, balls, extra and socks, socks and balls. And balls. <laughs> <laughs> We're just giving him so much Right here, don't go anywhere. Welcome to Belgium. 360 miles from Paris. Belgium. Where are you going? They came out of nowhere. They slaughtered us. You gotta get out of here. We just got here. Give me your ammo. You'll need it. Come on. Mm. They're like, oh, <laughs> 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 Hold on. Hold on. Give me your ammo. Got ammo. Oh, you got kids. You got any grenades? Well, time to resupply. Mm. Make a hole, hey! Make a hole! I got ammo! Grab what you can! Jimmy Fallon? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't break character. Yeah, because he's not great at <laughs> staying in character. Unless he wasn't on SNL. Panzer Division is about to cut the road south. Looks like you guys are going to be surrounded. We're paratroopers, Lieutenant. We're supposed to be surrounded. Good luck. Thanks. Yikes. I mean, he's not wrong. They usually jump right into the middle of things, so... Yeah. Do you think there's really a signpost like that? Probably. That's probably kilometers now that I think about it, not miles, right? Yeah. He's feeling good about where he's at. Seems like, right? Back with he's on his the, men. He's on the ground with his boots. Yeah. Not kicking him up at a desk. Easy Company moved into the woods near Baston without any artillery or air support. It was short of food, ammunition, and lacked winter clothing. Farthest from your mind is the thought of falling back. In fact, it isn't there at all. So you dig your hole carefully and deep and wait. The Curry scrapbook of the 506. All right. Okay. This one is about winters. Yep. He's been promoted quite a bit. Yeah. For his... Does a good job. Tactical leadership on the field, right? Mm-hmm. Getting his men in the right positions to win their mission. Yeah. And his men love him, right? Yeah. They follow him to hell and back, it seems like. Yep. You think they were all talking about winters, the, the intro of all the I old guys? So, yeah. All right. What else is on your mind after that? Seemed to be uh, we're at the halfway point of the series, and they were kind of uh, addressing the, the PTSD kind of yeah. stuff. How the war affects the men mentally with winners kind of experience to that. And yeah, the lieutenant. Yeah, with the lieutenant was, guy was recently wounded, so you can see how the war is kind of starting to take a toll on hmm. some of the, the leaders there. So. 
imagine you have to put yourself in a certain mindset and then to just say, oh, you get to, yeah. you know, take a weekend off. Oh, yeah. They, your they mind say, doesn't really do that. Go back so to well. civilization and it actually just made them think about everything you've yeah. been through instead of just focusing on what to do next. Right. right? Yep. Winters has been looking forward and he didn't even have his reports done. He wasn't even looking back ever. Right. Like a day ago. So. And then when he went to Paris, he had time Nothing to. But thoughts. Yeah. Time to think past, about things. So. Like he's in that French boy's face, he saw that probably seventeen year old German. Yeah. Right? Think back. Probably they came up on that company of men all napping in the field and mm. took out two companies. Yeah, that's impressive. So with what he had like two or three squads with him? I think yeah, thirty men, I think. Yeah. So he took out like two hundred with a third of that. Something like that. Yeah. All right, well, what should people comment on after this? I never know what to ask them to comment on during this specifically. <laughs> yeah. Where do you put your extra socks first? <laughs> right? You got two <laughs> pairs. You got a pair on your feet. Where's the second pair going first? Your hands? Your balls? I don't have those, so <laughs> hands, I guess. Mine are going on my hands. Hand, hands? Yeah. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below. Right? Or just on my feet. Just you double up hang the Hang them from your ears, right? Yeah, that'd be natural. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, or access to polls, helps pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. German commander. Nuts. What's nuts mean? Like, like suck on these nuts. <laughs>
trying to shave right now. Come as you hear, Schnell. Schnell. What a crappy place to take a dump, huh? <laughs> you really sh bed in that decision. <laughs> so you can forget about air cover. Your first battalion just pulled out a fort. Krauts on their tail. Tanks, artillery, got no backup. There's a lot of sh heading this way. Great! Get everything you can. You're gonna need it. Jeez. No. Hey, hey, uh, Doc, I gotta talk to you. How's that leg? And the hell with the leg, I'm pissing needles. Later. Had a little too much fun in Paris, huh? <laughs> gonorrhea got gonorrhea? <laughs> Could be. <laughs> All right. Uh, what about an extra thread in your aid kit, huh? How'd you morphine, guy? <laughs> Look, you alright? I'm good. Hey, look at this <laughs> They peppered my helmet. Better than pepper in your head. You guys hit? Oh, what are you doing? Are you crazy? <laughs> shit. You don't want to go out in this and yell at medic? I don't need to go back to no aid station. Well, you're in luck, Pentagon. There is no aid station. In I want you to take someone. And work your way over to the third battalion, all right? You know what we need. Bandages, plasma, whatever you can beg, you beg. All right, and give me some goddamn scissors. I can't get any. Think he's going to get some scissors by the end of the episode? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Hey, babe. Where the hell are we? This way. Great, right lost in the snow and the fog. <laughs> Come on. Get in. Fell into a frozen hot foxhole, huh? It's warm. You want syrup with that? Hey, Joe, be honest. What's in these things anyway, huh? Nothing. You won't eat malarkey. I won't eat malarkey. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Hinkle's got a syrup for you. Eat your strudel. Hey, Hinkle Winkle eats the armpit, huh? <laughs> What happens if I get hit? I'll be there. <laughs> Here. I don't plan on getting hit. Thank you, sir. No kidding. <laughs> you guys okay? We got hot food. Can you smell it? <laughs> Where are your boots? Washington, I'm General Taylor's ass. I can move better in bare feet, Doc. What, what happened? I took them off, dry my goddamn socks. I think I'm blown to hell, okay? Oh no. What's your size? Nine. Just like everybody else. <laughs> size nine, just like everybody else. He's gonna take him off some of those bodies. What are you looking for? Scissors. Thank you, Pecani. Well, you got some scissors. I was wrong. Picking up Surrettes. Ali, Liebgott, you got any? No guy using Holland, Doc. He ain't using this stuff, are you, Doc? I mean, personal like. <laughs> Come on. I can't help you, all right? Just drink lots of water. Water? It's pissing that hurts. <laughs> What's going on here, Bill? Who the hell's singing? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll find singing. out, Lieutenant. I'll find out. Stop I'll shut him up. Second. I'll shut him up. Yeah, like what? Idiots, right? Like, you're holding a line that the Germans are, are on the other side of. And you're singing songs. Shrapnel. Got some tree in him. Oh, jeez. Ooh, 
Ouf. Non, c'est pas urgent. Come and have him, Doc. Bon. <rire> Comment vous appelez-vous My name is René. I'm Jean, Eugene Rowe. Where are you from Louisiana, half Cajun. Et toi, tu viens d'où That's why he knows French. Chocolat. Pour vous. Ooh, she's flirting with you. <laughs> she got a kiss to go with that. <laughs> Just the chocolate. All right, I'll go take these. Give the boots to Joe Toy. Tell him they're a nine. <laughs> they're probably a six and a half. Everything's a nine. <laughs> That patrol did not go well. Not at all. Belgium chocolate too. Must be. Probably really good. Show me. Let me. Let me see it. Yeah, gangrene. Trash for a toy. If it turns gangrene, you could lose it. I ain't coming off the line, Doc. Change socks every day and dry the wet ones around your neck. You know, my grandma was a traitor's. Your grandmother? Uh-huh. Laid her hands on people and cured them. I remember she used to pray a lot. <laughs> yeah, I guess she had to. Talk to God about the pain she pulled out. I'm still trying to figure why they picked me for a medic. John Coffee and Green Mile. Kind of, except for... Less supernatural. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe not. <laughs> it's kind of supernatural. <laughs> oh, is he dead? No, oh, still breathing. Just really cold. <laughs> Gotta cuddle together to keep warm. Absolutely. That good. That must be good, I guess. Oh god! Get your ladders out. Get that stuff off the roof. I know. She's got a sweet tooth. Stained. You're a good nurse. How long do you think they've been uh, in Boston? Mm, a long time. Dug in. A month or two. Never calls anybody by their nickname. You once called me Edward. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Edward. What's your name? Yeah. Oh, you you don't look like an Edward. <laughs> What's he look like then? 
Uh oh. Tanks. Hold your fire. Get ready, Walter. Stay in your hole, guys. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Go. Here they come. Oh, shit. Stay with us! Ma'am. Yeah, buddy. Standing on my hand. Sorry, Doc. Look, I'll get you another purple heart for it. Hey! <laughs> Where's his tag? Where's his tag? What's wrong with him? Paralyzed. What? He's paralyzed. He can't feel a thing. I can feel his arm. Maybe he couldn't, he just saw it. Because he looked over. Could be. They fight back that armor or so. <laughs> Those friggin' tiger tanks. Joe McAuliffe wishes us all a Merry Christmas. What's merry about all this, you ask? Just this. Now, two days ago, the German commander demanded our honorable surrender. German commander received the following reply to the German commander. Nuts. What's nuts mean? Like, like suck on these nuts. <laughs> suck on these nuts. <laughs> Germans love Christmas. Mm -hmm. They celebrate it for like two months. <laughs> I am shaking so goddamn much. I feel like I'm dancing. Oh, here you go, buddy. I hate that feeling. I swear I thought I could smell a fire. I did smell a fire. You out of your mind? Oh, we're in a dell. <laughs> huh? Oh, God! Okay. 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 Get up. Not okay. Lie down. Okay. Get up. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh my hand. God damn, man. Okay. Get him up. Marking him so they know how much morphine they gave him. Mm -hmm. Get yourself into town. Hell of a time to attack. Head into town. Get yourself a hot meal. The town's under siege. Anti air. Jesus. Oh no. Bombed a church on Christmas. Yeah. Hey, Gene. Call me babe. I did? <laughs> when? Just now. Babe. You got the same memory you do. <laughs> I 
On December 26, 1944, General Patton's Third Army broke through the German lines, allowing supplies to flow into the wounded to be evacuated. The story of the Battle of the Bulge was told today. It's one of Patton's coming to the rescue of the encircled 101st Airborne. No member of the 101st has ever agreed that the division needed to be rescued. <laughs> They're like, we, 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 didn't, we didn't need to be rescued. We were fine in these <laughs> freezing foxholes. Could have stayed there longer. Yeah. Oh, gosh. All right. The story of the medic. Gene, what do you think? Mm-hmm. I love that they're, like, following like a, specific a character and episode. episode. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because you get to know kind of all of these different perspectives and what you know, from from somebody in charge to yeah. somebody just on the front lines, now mm-hmm. medic. Like, I, I mean, it's just really, it's really well done. Yeah. So we've, what, Blythe was like a private, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Bull was a sergeant. Winters, who's mm-hmm. been a lieutenant, major captain, everything, yeah. right? And then now the medic. So, yeah. Covered a lot of ground so far in mm-hmm. different pers- perspectives. So. so I think that nurse would have wanted him to use. Definitely. But cloth for Definitely. More, more bandages, right? But yeah. Seemed like the last ditch effort by the Germans there of that bombing mm-hmm. before they were pushed back, right? That kind of their little... It was a good effort. Trying mm-hmm. to demoralize and yeah. destroy the enemy. And then General Patton comes to save the day. Battle of the Bulge. Battle of the Bulge. I think the movie Patton might be about that. Oh, yeah. And more about Patton, the general... As a whole, so it's supposed to be a really good movie. So what else is on your mind after this? It's just so well done. Yeah. Well produced, well directed, well acted. I mean, just all around well done. I like how, because of the way it showcases us different, so you get a different actor given, you know, a great performance Mm -hmm. every episode. So it's what makes this show so great. Absolutely. Well, what should people comment on? Favorite Christmas song? Sure. Favorite Christmas song. What's your favorite Christmas song? Yes. Was it Silent Night the Germans were singing? Yes. I think so. Yeah. Let us know your favorite Christmas song. Anything else? Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out for Band of Brothers. Yeah, and check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full length commentaries, or access to polls, help us pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. You get things organized here. I'm going to go for help. Cool. Deal with this. Well, I'll be back. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time to head back into battle with Easy Company. Yeah. What happened on the last episode of Band of Brothers? It was cold. Yep. We were in foxholes. Yep. They eventually backed out of that. Yeah. I think, right? And no, then they the were Germans like, we were just about to win. <laughs> no, the Germans ended up retreating first. Oh, did and they? And then they didn't need to hold that line anymore. They were in Baston. Baston, that's right. Patton came in and relieved them and saved them. And it was the Battle of the Bulge won the battle. And now they're moving on to their next objective. So yeah, where do you think they go next? Mm, don't know my history enough to know. All right, well, that's why we're watching this. So you learn a little thing. That's right. Yeah. What well, should we jump in and... Check out what the next battle is. Absolutely. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like it. Come hang out with us for Band of Brothers. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full length commentaries, access to pulls, doubles, pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. We also have Twitter and Instagram, so if you're into social media, you can follow us at You Me The Movies if you feel like seeing what we got going on behind the scenes. And if you don't, just ignore that. Yep. Let's watch Band of Brothers. Here we go. I withstood it well, but I had a lot of trouble in later life uh, because uh, those events would come back.
and and you never forget them. It's sad. Belgium. Make a platoon, let's go. I was glad to be out of my foxhole and moving again. Even if only to get warm. The last time we were at Christmas, so it's like a week later. During that 1,000 yard attack through the woods, we encountered sporadic German machine gun fire and had a couple of casualties. It's with the white helmets. Scared the crap out of me. One of their guys. No, okay, thank goodness. No, I finally got a Luger. Hoover had been talking about getting a Luger since Normandy. <laughs> Down he goes, right out of the saddle, like a sack of potatoes. Outstanding accuracy on my part, if I do say so myself. This is first two shots, though. <laughs> you dug in? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just thought I'd take a walk. I bet they got really good at digging holes with little tiny shovels. I am not great at digging holes. No, you're not. It takes me a really long time. Sarge. Okay, what the hell? Uh huh. Oh Jesus! It's who we shot? Sniper? No, no, he he shot himself. Medic? Oh Jesus! Okay, you think it was a German leg hoop? Not that bad. Take it easy. Stay there, Hoop. Doc. Doc. Jesus. Got himself a Luger and then shot himself with it. What? Where's Dyke? Just would have expected to get this kind of news from him. Well, I was, uh, I was there, sir. Huh. Figured it might as well be me. Is Dyke the commanding officer for them? And he's nowhere to be found. I think so. Dyke wasn't a bad leader because he made bad decisions. He was a bad leader because he made no decisions. Now Battalion S3 is planning a move. So I will probably be called away regularly. Are there any questions? It's his deal. All right, I got to make a call. Maybe he has narcolepsy and he falls asleep a lot. Oh, you know, sitting around freezing her ass off, singing Dyke's praises. Oh, yeah. If you ask me, a guy'd have to march off to Berlin and come back with Hitler's mustache or something. That's probably where he goes. He's trying to find the way to Berlin. Trying to find the mustache. Well, I don't know if I believed any of that, but as company first sergeant, it was my job but to protect the integrity of the company. Yeah, someone's got to have their <laughs> together, huh? Or Peacock? He's not cut out to take men into combat. I'm sure as hell not going to make him company CEO, and I don't even want him as a platoon leader. <laughs> Buck wasn't the same soldier he'd been before he got shot in Holland. He was more serious somehow. His girlfriend left him too, right? Something like that. Because Crazy Joe McCluskey was nuts, babe. That's why they called him Crazy Joe. No, I'm, I'm not saying he's nuts. I'm just saying... He's different. I'm serious. Sure thing, Buck. Nothing stupid. We got it, right? We got it. You just go around every hole and tell them, don't do don't anything do stupid. stupid. God, I didn't go over the falls, George. I swam across the river. I don't know. Ten miles up from the falls. My mom, my sister Ruth, they gave me all kinds of hell. Shut it, George. Well, they had a point. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rivers are dangerous to swim across them. Under toes and random currents you don't even know. Make sure it's unloaded. You miss it? Miss what? Huntington. Honestly, sir, I uh, try not to think about it that much. Where are you from, sir? <laughs> Good talk. Yeah, sweet. See you See later. <laughs> Where do you think he goes? 
probably has like a heated blanket somewhere. <laughs> That's fantastic, Luke. Good for you. Thank you. How in the world does your leaving help me? It doesn't. <laughs> But I'm sure we can find an officer somewhere in this battalion who could use a long trip home. Uh, like an officer type? Congratulations, Lieutenant Peacock. I can't oh. think of anybody who deserves this more. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> really glad that you're going home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard in weeks. Yeah. Hell of a guy. Hell right. of a guy. Thanks. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. <laughs> not that they don't like him. He's just, just probably just not Just a dummy. Yeah. <laughs> just a dummy. <laughs> Got to keep the morale up for them folks back home. Why? Damned if I know. So they keep buying war bonds. <laughs> well, I feel pretty peachy about it if it wasn't for one thing. We didn't need to be f***ing rescued by Pat. <laughs> I'm trying to think if handheld cameras back then had audio. Pretty sure it was separate back in the 40s. Don't know. Yeah. I have to make sure you're on top of things. You're on top of things. Tied me on boots once last week. <laughs> All by myself. Don't worry. There's enough crap flying around here. You're bound to get dinged sometime. Almost every single one of these guys has been hit at least once. Now, son. The bull, he got a piece of exploding tank in Holland. It's like, thanks for bringing it up. <laughs> Buck got shot in his rather large butt in Holland. <laughs> yeah, kind of an easy company tradition getting shot in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they need frying pans. Now the chunk almost took out his nuts. <laughs> ah, what was nuts like? Doing fine, Bill. Nicey to ask. Yeah, they made her like everything's still all right when they <laughs> he got wounded. In. Good luck, ladies. It's nice knowing you. <laughs> Is this a cigarette? Spears. Who? Lieutenant Spears. A Fazbender. Kind of look like it. Well, actually, I heard it was more like 30. Christensen. Lieutenant Spears. <laughs> Carry on. Yeah, he's intense. <laughs> you? <laughs> he always walks up when people are talking about him, too. One of those first battalion f took a dump in my foxhole! I think they sh in everyone's foxhole, Joe. I don't think they wanted to spend much time above ground. While we were in the Bois Jacques, the Germans had been shelling our old position. It wasn't intentional. They just pooped their pants in the, in the foxhole. Or they didn't have anywhere else to go. Right. So they are like, well, here it is. <laughs> Looking across the field at Foy, I could see enemy troops. I still couldn't see their artillery, but I knew it was down there. Oh, they've got whites. Sergeant Lipton's right. We're going to strengthen our covers, and we're going to hang in. We're not going to fall back. You all take care of it. I got to go talk to regiment. I saw that day was the most awesome and terrifying display of firepower I'd ever seen in my life. Of course, I wouldn't have been laughing if I'd known what happened to Joe Toy. Oh, dang it. Oh, jeez. You hear that? Is that Joe? Yeah, I think that's Joe. Stay. Come on, Joe. Come on, buddy. Oh. Come, on, come on, pal. You said you get back and stay for me. You ain't going anywhere. <sighs> come on. Ah, oh, jeez. I think I overdid it on a cover for my foxhole. It's <laughs> coming! <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, you get things organized here. I'm gonna go for help. Cool. <laughs> Where'd his helmet go? Just deal with this. Well, I'll be back. Oh, jeez. They're both still alive. You got a smoke. Jesus. What's the guy got to do to get killed around here? <laughs> Luz, how's Buck? He's fine. You sure? Yes, he's fine. He's not fine. Some say Buck changed after he was shot in Holland. Maybe. But I know something happened to him when he saw a toy and Garnier on the ground. I think he probably feels a little guilty that he didn't run to help pull Joe back in. Maybe oh, thinks he could have got them both into cover. Buck was a great combat leader. He was wounded in Normandy. He took everything the crowds could throw at him time and again. I guess he just couldn't take seeing his friends toy and Garnier all torn up like that. No one ever thought he'd listen. Uh, First Sergeant Lipton, you organize things here, and I'm gonna go for help. <laughs> nah, you got it pretty good. Huh? Second, don't do it anymore. Especially the part about what he said to me. It doesn't do anybody any good, okay? Yeah, I got you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's good at impressions. Good God. Why does it feel like we have none of this firepower? Praying it's a dud. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a dud since it didn't go off yet. Like, why do they have big f***ing bombs and we're, we're not shooting any bombs at them, it doesn't seem like. So we don't know where to hit them. And they're just blind firing into the woods. Didn't I hear you say you wanted to, uh... Bring a Luger home for your kid brother? Yeah. Why don't you, uh, why don't you give him that? Just unload it before you put it in your pocket. We cleared the woods east and west of Foy. Now it was time for the inevitable assault on Foy itself. Frankly, I was dreading it. E Company would lead the attack. The problem was, at least in my estimation, E Company still did not have a leader. That sounds like he needs to be the leader. Yeah. Right. He's just a sergeant, though. Right. Promote him. But on the other hand, I have no confidence in our CO, sir. Lieutenant Dyke is an empty uniform, Captain. He's just... He's not there, sir. Literally, he just runs away. Get in there before they can bring their mortars and artillery down on you. Clear? Clear. I'm relying on you. Get it done. Winters basically made the battle plan for him. Just execute. I could stand out in the open. That's a perfect place to be. Get me Foley on the radio. Get out of there! Move! Find some cover! Find some cover! Find some 
I know nothing about war, and I know that you shouldn't stop in the middle of a f***ing field. <laughs> Did not follow his orders very well. Why are we stopped? Go back! Fall back! Roger kidnapped Paris. Stand by the six. Stand by the plane. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We will provide suppressing fire. We're going to be kind of alone out there, Lieutenant. We will provide suppressing fire. We're going to flanking run around the back of the village, and we attack from the rear. Ramirez, two guys, take them. Go. Cover behind the table. Over, Connie. They shot me in my ass, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Smash! Get yourself over here. Get out there and relieve Dyke and take that attack on in. What? Fall back into it, Come on, what? Let's go, kid. Hang on, Virgo. Yeah, I mean, Spears is a little unhinged, but he's at least going to get done, right? All right, I want mortars and grenade launchers on that building till it's gone. When it's gone, I want first to go straight in. Forget going around. Everybody else follow me? Yes, sir. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Slip away! That's right, I wait here! I know, easy six! What the hell? <laughs> he just... See, he's just... Get sh done. He's literally in the enemy lines right now. At first, the Germans didn't shoot at him. I think they couldn't quite believe what they were seeing. <laughs> the astounding thing was that after he hooked up with the I Company, he came back. He came back. <laughs> Building on the right. Don't miss Shifty. Not a boy. Can you imagine being a decoy? <laughs> you may sing, D sing Dyke. Hit bad, Perconti. Beautiful wound, Lip. Shot me right through my ass. <laughs> yeah. Is it true about Dyke? Yeah. Thank God for small mercies, huh? Yeah. I spent part of that night trying to come up with a roster for the company to see who we had left. We'd come into Belgium with 121 men and officers plus 24 replacements. That's 145 total. We were going out with 63. Our month in Belgium cost us one good officer, Buck Compton, and one bad one, Norman Dyke. So did Dyke end up getting killed then? No, I think they just pulled him yeah. back off the line and... Relieved him of his duty? Yeah. Every day kept the spirits up, kept the men focused, gave him direction. All the things a good combat leader does. You don't have any idea who I'm talking about, do you? No, sir. Hell, it was you for a sergeant. Winners put in for a battlefield commission and sink approved on your behalf. You should get the official nod in a few days. Congratulations, Lieutenant. About time, right? Yeah. He's taking a lot of wounds to the face, too. Yeah. <laughs> kind of looks like the scene from the first scene of White Christmas. Yeah. Beyond the wounded and killed, every man at Bastan suffered. Men unhit with shrapnel by shrapnel or bullets were nevertheless casualties. I'm not sure that anybody who lived through that one hasn't carried with with him some hidden ways the scars. Perhaps that's a factor that helps keep easy men bonded so unusually close together. All right. 
Okay. That was a heavy hidden episode there. Sure was, Sam. Yeah. Lost a lot of good men. Yeah. What are your thoughts after that one? Yeah, I mean, gosh, 140 down to 60. Yeah. Goodness. Brutal. Yeah, my favorite Garnier that taken down. Yeah. Wounded. Didn't die, though. That's yeah. good. Yeah, they both got blown to hell there by those artillery. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened to Dyke. I, I'm not sure if he was just relieved or yeah. if he was one of the casualties there. I think Foy. he was just relieved of okay. his duties. Because there was one part when he, uh, Lip was looking at the uh, a dead soldier, and I thought it might have been Dyke, but there wasn't much reaction other than that, and that was a quick glance. So hard to know. Yeah. You were complaining about the, our lack of artillery as we're in the the forest getting bombarded. Well, there. yeah, it just feels like they were fighting cannons with yeah. bullets and couldn't even shoot the bullets because they were too far away. So like cannons think, were winning. I think our rules of engagement is we wouldn't bombard a town because we wouldn't know if there was civilians or not. So they wouldn't. They'd have to do you know precision attacks like they did there at the end and move in on the positions where they they get in there assault. To find out where the actual position of the, the firepower is and take them out. Yeah, I don't understand war tactics. Bombing it, right? For sure. Yeah. So, and they're just bombing out into the forest, blind firing, right. knowing that there's somebody all up in a foxhole. So, so what, what was going on there is they were easy company relieved one company, people mm-hmm. that sh- in their foxholes, right? Right. And then they were hoping somebody would relieve them eventually, but before they were ever relieved, they attacked Foy. So right. They were cycling companies in and out of there. Over the, the weeks and months that were there. So Donnie Wahlberg's episode. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Well, where do you think they go to next? They're still in Belgium. They're still kind of on the outskirts of Baston into the next town over, right? So getting closer and closer to Germany. Just going to keep pushing the line as far yeah. as they can, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, what should people comment on after that? I don't know. Do you know the fate of Dyke? Was he just relieved of duty and basically fired? Or was he a casualty... The wounded there at the Foy. Yeah. Let us know if you know any additional details there, because we weren't really clear on that. And I've watched it multiple times. I still don't know. So, anything else? Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out for Band of Brothers. Come back next week for the next episode. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below if you want full length commentary, access to polls, help us pick what we watch next, or early access to our videos. Links down below. Check it out. Till next time, have a good one. Bye. Jesus Christ. That's scary. Yeah. God, I don't know why. It's not a scary movie. <laughs> you heard the mortar fire. I guess. And all of a sudden I'm like, Whoa. Howdy folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time for more World War II Band of Brothers. All right. What happened last time? I feel like we saw quite a few like you know primary characters die or get wounded right right maybe else garnier um he didn't die though he just he got, got his wounded, yeah. leg blown and off toy um again didn't die just got his legs blown off buck didn't he just got relieved yeah of, they said he got um, struggled um trench foot that's why they right discharged him with but yeah and then a bunch of other ones got no <sighs> The hell blown out. I don't know. They're, they're somewhere in, the in Belgium. Yeah. yeah. They're just outside of uh, Foy. Right? Mm-hmm. So I think they went in with like 150 men almost. And came, came out with like 60, 60 or something. So yeah. Lots of casualties, lots of wounded, lots of KIAs. So, yeah, dang it. So where to next? Closer to the German border. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. Well, should we jump in and see what battles happen next? Let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out with us for Band of Brothers. Check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, access to pull subs, pick what I watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Also, social media. So if you like Twitter, Instagram, follow us at YouMeTheMovies if you feel like it. Yeah, if you feel like it. If you don't, don't. Don't. Let's watch Band of Brothers. Here we go.
You have a feeling you're going to live through the war. You have a feeling it's starting to ease off. Uh, you can't account for it. Uh, it's just a gut feeling, but everybody had that feeling. I believe I might be able to live through it. So walk carefully. Take care of yourself. Getting close enough towards the end where they're like, okay, we just just <laughs> breathe slow. I feel like they, were, they felt like they were winning. Yeah, they I guess. To an end. How do you pronounce that? Haganah? I don't know how you pronounce it in French, but... <laughs> Haganah. No? Or something. <laughs> the battered bastards of Bastogne. They've been through hell on earth and we're now pulling into the comparative paradise of Haganah. You said it wrong. <laughs> it's <a> Haganah. <laughs> I don't know French, sorry. <laughs> My name's David Webster. I just got back from the hospital. Good for you. <laughs> They're really short handed. Yeah, right. Report to second, Webster. They'll find a place for you. Next show call, Webster. Then the replacement depot. Well, I'm sure you try to bust out and help us in Bastogne, Web. I don't know how I would have done that. Well, it's funny because Popeye found a way. And Garnier. And... Yeah, where is Garnier? Yeah, Bill got hit. Blew his whole leg off. Well, they're dogging him hard. <laughs> All those guys that did come back yeah. were wounded before. And it's just not so much his fault. He ran got away. injured. And yeah. He followed the rules and went through. Sure, he wants you with us. Captain Spears. What happened to Captain Winters? He's running the whole battalion now. Go. That's how long he's been gone. There you go. He's got pneumonia. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, what are you sorry about? He's alive. He's got a couch, goddamn blanket. Snug as a bug. Yeah. <laughs> What platoon are you in? Oh, we're about to find that out. Colin Hanks looks like he's fresh out of somewhere, too, huh? Yep. Right, our West Pointer. Yes, sir. When'd you graduate? June 6th, sir. June 6th? Of last year? D-Day, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get hurt. <laughs> Captain, request permission to go on the patrol. No. <laughs> it's like you're brand new here. Is that it? I don't know. I think so. Go, go, go! Jeez. Yeah, like find a place to put your big bags down, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you're without a platoon leader? No, not anymore, Lieutenant. Right. He's got his class ring and everything. <laughs> hey, what? What? Come here. I want to talk to you a second. Come here. Why? Uh, uh oh. Captain Spears is to pick 15 men. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant Jones wants to be one of them. I say I let the kid go. He could use the experience. Probably could find 14 replacements to help him out. Mm. <laughs> Snipers during the day. Yeah, we dodged some mortars on our way in. Mm. <laughs> like, good for you. <laughs> Been doing it for three three years now. <laughs> they have roofs over their heads, sir, just like us. I don't think anybody wants to do anything stupid at this point, right? Meanwhile, they get to cross the river tonight. Yeah. I'll tell them. I just need. Listen to up. Got some bad news. There is a patrol set for tonight. And so far, Spears wants McClung. We know. Yeah, we've just f***ing heard. Webster here told us. Oops. She just came in. Including winter shoe packs. Beautiful. Yeah, finally, right? Good of them. Now we're in a nice warm house. Also. <laughs> All right, let's move! Clear out! Stop, move! Move! Let's go. Come on. So they weren't really afraid they were just messing with the new guys or what? I don't know. 
Like the adrenaline probably just gets to you, right? Whatever. Bill Keen, a Tacoa man, was killed because he was carrying a sack of potatoes from one building into another. Dang. Has it been a long time since your last shower, Professor? That's right, he's a college boy too, right? No, he... Webster? Yeah. No, he just came from the hospital. Well, I know, but... I think they're just commenting on how clean he is compared to everybody else because they just went through Boston. And he's got fresh uh, uniform. Baby Ruth. <laughs> you gotta Look be good at me. me. What's up, guys? Like we do with the plays, George? Yeah, 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 yeah. You did good, huh? How you All feeling? Right. As long as you keep your hands off my ass, I'll be fine. Have Hershey's. <laughs> what you got in there? More Hershey bars and lucky strikes for your oh, rear ass lawn. Hey, 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 cop! With the mouth, please. The kid's just trying to do his job, all right? Jesus Christ! You know what the hell it is? Not my best. I gotta go blast this house. <laughs> Sergeant, this cat sphere is going to be where you're headed. Uh, same vicinity, yeah. All right, then I'll join you. Where are we going? So is Malarkey or Jones going to go? I think Jones. Yeah. You're not going to lead that patrol, Lieutenant Jones. Permission to speak, sir. Go on, Lieutenant. It looks like Sergeant Malarkey could use a break, sir. I've discussed it with him, and he said that he did not mind if I took his place on the patrol. That was nice of him. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> Fine, you can go. There'll be a briefing. CP seventeen hundred. Yes, sir. And so, who do you have in mind leading this thing, if not Malarkey? It's not gonna be the new lieutenant. You don't think so? <laughs> yeah, that'd be better. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of like, we don't do this didn't formal care shit right get, now. Get up or not. Remember, it's about prisoners. Don't pop the first thing that moves. Clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Good. You speak German, right, Webster? Yeah. A little bit. Webster was the guy that said, they hit me. Oh, yeah, and then, he, is he? I think so. He missed Baston, so I guess that would have been the one right before. Yeah, when they're in Holland. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. Those crowds are gonna catch some hell. So I hear. I'm not personally going in. I'm supposed to stay in the rear and give them cover. Yeah, it's the best place to be. Jesus Christ. That's scary. Yeah. God, I don't know why. It's not a scary movie. <laughs> You heard the mortar fire. I guess. And all of a sudden, I'm like, whoa, <laughs> under attack. Where the hell did it go? Oh, he's taking off his class ring. Yeah, you can't take anything that shines or glistens, right? Yeah, or makes noise. Can't imagine that would be very quiet, though. Rubber boats. Okay, keep going. Come on, stay focused. You really bunged that one up. Now they're down three, man, huh? <laughs> Those guys that fell out of the boat gonna catch up, or they? I think they're done. Because <laughs> they're cold. I think they got out of that mission. Let's go. Jackson, wait. Go! Keep those 
That one guy that got blown up in the face was a little too uh, eager to j- get in there. Yeah. Was he inexperienced? I don't think so. craziest log plume rat ever oh my god i just they're doing a great job of making it feel <laughs> like very i mean i feel so anxious right now just watching it Everybody stop yelling, right? Like, oh my god, please stop yelling. Jesus. What do you think, uh was wounded the most like what led to him being killed you think from that shrapnel to the face yeah i mean he probably had some sort of severed artery or something that i'm sure he bled out it was his own grenade he died of his wounds sir any others it was his own grenade that he threw the grenade yeah and he threw the grenade in the window and then ran in oopsie he was saying hold up yeah, I mean, usually you want to wait for the grenade to explode yeah. before you run in. Poor guy. He got too excited. Dang it. As much fire as they... Like, as much gunfire was going on there, I'm surprised only one was a... You know, there's only Can one casualty. Yeah. Left that wounded German, I think, on the the beach. What you looking at, Webster? Yeah. That's what I thought, college boy. Told you. So he knows we lost a man? Yeah, he knows. He also knows he picked up two prisoners who talked. About what? OB, uh, supply trouble, Hitler's favorite color. <laughs> Just standing at the river after all that gunfire last night. Nothing going on. It'll be zero two hundred hours instead of zero one hundred. That clear? Yes, sir. I'm just hoping that they don't expect it the second time the mm-hmm. exact same way. Just make sure you don't fall in this time, one of your boats. Yeah. In the morning, you will report to me that you made it across the river into German lines. We're unable to secure any live prisoners. Mm-hmm. He's telling them not to do it. Look sharp for tomorrow. Moving off the line. <laughs> Moving off the line. Why do you think he did that? Because he knows it's a bad idea. Yeah. He knows that they're going to have worse outcomes yeah. it doing was... it the same thing two times in a row. And Winters knows they're moving off the front line, so he's like, this is just another patrol for show. Right. For the j- corporal to be like, look, I did another good thing. Right. Risking men's lives for no reason. Your honorable discharge as an enlisted man. Just keep him coming, us. Made him a second lieutenant and sent him home. Colonel Sink's a bit unhappy with the appearance of your uniform. He says it's not befitting your rank. And he's getting his stripes. Oh, please. Congratulations, Major. Another big promotion. He's back with him now. Earned his stripes. Yeah. 
At the time they left Hagenau, Easy Company's European campaign had taken them from England to France, Holland, and Belgium. Soon they would be entering Germany. All right. That means next episode we're crossing the border into Germany. I imagine, yeah. All right, what's on your mind after that one? I feel like they did a really good job of cinematography in making it at that, that night mission, right? It was mm. chaotic. Like it them. felt chaotic, yeah. right? Felt like, I mean, they knew what they were doing, but they're all over the place, kind of. Right. Yeah, it's crazy. Interesting that they introduced... Again, an old character and then a brand new character at the same time, yeah. and and how they were both new, even though they one of them had, had been, been there, there. was there at Normandy, but got wounded and finally made it back. See, like he went through the whole process of recovery, mm-hmm. while a lot of the soldiers from Easy Company escaped from the hospital to get back as soon as they could, like walk. Escape is kind of a, not an appropriate word, but well, yes. they went AWOL, which is they left early. Yes, yeah. sure, broke the rules to get back and. Nobody's going to report him on the front lines, right? Yeah, nobody cares. Yeah. Colin Hanks coming fresh from West Point, where he graduated on D-Day. So it's kind of yeah. like the irony of that. The Last Patrol is the name of that episode. Now they're crossing the border, heading towards Berlin, or wherever they think Hitler might be. Buried in, right? You bet. So who wins the war? Can't be certain. Yeah. <laughs> you know that much of history, right? Okay. Yeah. Just double checking. I know enough of the stories. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So they've gone from England through Holland and France, Belgium. One more country to go to. For now. Yep, for now. Well, what should people comment on after that? Of the men remaining in Easy Company, who's your favorite? Do you even know who they are? <laughs> I've forgotten which ones are remaining. Yeah. Malarkey's my favorite remaining. No, that it's about the only one I could name so. anymore. Yeah. So let us know your favorite soldier left in the easy company. There you go. Last couple episodes wrap up. Anything else? Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out. Come back next week. Check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full commentaries, or access to polls, helps people watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. Nixon's looking for some whiskey. Yep. That 68. Damn it. <laughs> Howdy, folks. We're going back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time for more World War II. We're marching into Germany. Band of Brothers, what's going on? Remember what happened last time? They're marching into Germany. Yeah. Or close to it. Well, what happened last episode? They were in Holland or something. They were still Belgium. in Belgium. They were in Belgium. Belgium. They went on the last patrol. Right? Yep. That last patrol, they got a couple hostages. Mm-hmm. Asked them what's going on, what are the Germans doing? Found out Hitler's favorite color, and then they pulled out of the front. Yep. So, now on to Germany. So... Are you ready for more Bad Brothers? Yeah. Should we jump in and check it out? Yep. Let's do it. First, like, comment, subscribe if you want to. Yep. Check out our Patreon link down below. For early access to our videos, full link commentators, access to polls, help people watch next. The link is down below. Check it out. Let's watch Band of Brothers. Let's do it. Well, but there was something in there that, you know, hey, there was a kid. Most of them were kids. We all were kids. Of course, they were doing what they were supposed to do, and I was trying to do what I was supposed to do. But uh, under different circumstances, we might have been good friends. Yeah. Yeah. Most of them were just fresh out of school kids. Just doing their part for their country. Yep.
In Germany we go. Now, can you imagine rebuilding all those towns? Tell you one thing about the crowds. They show sure clean up good. Yeah. Well, he needs a little Mozart. Beethoven. Sorry, sir. That's not Mozart. That's Beethoven. It's Mozart, French. I don't know. I don't think so. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, George. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Jesus, come on. What? You get punched in the face by her? <laughs> so what happened? No dice with the fur line? No dice. She smacked me in the mouth. <laughs> hey, what the? Germany's looking like it's gonna be pretty good fraternizing territory. <laughs> Welcome on back. Do you mean the boobies? Where's my stuff? I, I thought I'd leave it over there, sir. It's Tom Hardy. Nuh-uh. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, a little baby Tom Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's Spears doing with all that? Silver? Silverware. Yeah. Free combat stars over his jump wings. Not bad for someone who's never fired his weapon in combat, huh? Really? Really? You've never? Nope. Not even with all the action we've seen? Not around. <laughs> Took a direct hit over the drop zone. I got out. Two others got out. The rest of the boys? Oh, well, they blew up over Germany somewhere. Boom. Guess who gets to write all the letters home? God, I got a nightmare. That's rough. Yeah. She'll be happy to hear that Sink is transferring you back down to Battalion S3. What do you think I should write to these parents, Dick? Hear what I said, Nix? You've been demoted. Yeah, demoted. Got you. Rough day for him. Yeah. Demoted and the lone survivor, basically, of a plane going down. sweet when the wind comes right behind the rain. <laughs> oh, Keith, are you sitting in your bayonet there? Honor or something? I just thought I'd ask. Yeah, why don't you do us all a favor? Don't think. Damn replacements. <laughs> yeah, Rico just finished it. Oh, yeah? Any sex in it? Ain't that kind of book. See ya. No, oh, tree grows in Brooklyn. There's no sex in that? <laughs> I don't think so. Just gotta use your imagination. I got hot chow, hot showers, warm bed. Germany is almost as good as being home. I even got to wipe my ass with real toilet paper today. So quit asking about when you're gonna see some action, will you? And stop with the f***ing love songs. It's been a little rough. He's tired. Yeah. Yeah. President's dead. Fair Queen's bets. That when FDR died? Must have been. Looking for more alcohol. Yeah. You already drank all of it in town. Yeah. See, he's struggling a bit. He's taking everything. He's taking the house. He's taking the kid. He's taking the dog. It's not even her dog. It's my dog. He's taking my dog. Really bad day. Hmm. Or week. Yeah, bad week. Bad couple of years. No drop into Berlin. Hitler ordered the Waffen SS to hole up in the mountains, repel all the invaders. He wants them to start a guerrilla war. The Eagle's Nest. I've been there. Hey, looks like gonna get you wish anyway, Flannery. Anyway, those guys? Fucking crazy. So Keith. <laughs> it's 
still saying his name wrong. Is this the Airborne song? Must be. <laughs> trying to figure out how Tom Hardy flew planes for the British and fought for the Americans airborne. Good one. I love to read. Do you? Yeah. Dick Tracy, Flash Gordon mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Comics. That's a lot of soldiers. You know who those guys are? The Nazis? Yeah, the 300,000 men that surrendered. Oh. You ignorant, servile scum! What the f*** are we doing here? Huh? should be yelling it in German. <laughs> we know he speaks it. At least a little. Not sure what country those soldiers are from. French? Don't know. Not American. They were not speaking English. No. You're not worried about an ambush, are you? No. Just in case we have to stay here for the night. Be an ambush? I hope not. Hey, George. Yeah. Kind of remind you of Bastogne. All the trees and stuff and such. <laughs> we got warm grub in our bellies. And the trees aren't f***ing exploding from crowd artillery, but... <laughs> <laughs> Bull, smack him for me, please. <laughs> He's just stealing <laughs> That's just his thing, huh? Spoils of war. Nixon's looking for some whiskey. Yep. That's 68. Damn it. <laughs> now you are. He's just like, God time. damn it, my dog. Yeah, just in time for him to remember his dog's going to take <laughs> yeah. him from him. Ambush, oh no. What did they see? Hey, Pop. Pop, I hear you off this. Take some phone. Oh, Spears is searching your buildings right down the street. He does look like Popeye. Oh, prison camp. So called concentration camps, huh? My God. And all of the Germans that were there are the ones that surrendered? Like all of the Germans that were watching them? Mm hmm. Just left them there to die. Is that a, one of the medics that's squeamish? It's not an ideal trait for a medic. Major needs you up front right now. Sure. Oh god. Oh, 
pomozite, molim vas, pomozite, još je živ. Možda možete spaziti. Jesus, Webb, can you believe this place? No. Neighbor Schneider. Tailors, clerks, farmers, intellectuals, and normal people. Juden. Juden. Jews. Holden. The women's camp is at the next railroad stop. <laughs> There's no doubt this is watered down because couldn't recreate the conditions like this. Yeah. Okay. At least he remembered his name this time. Yeah. And make sure they pace themselves. I and, know, uh, yeah. And gorge. To death, we need to keep them in the camp till we can find a place warm in town. You want us to lock these people back up? We need to keep them centralized so we can supervise their food intake and medical treatment. So, until we find some place better. Holy sh. Can you imagine? Can't imagine having to tell those people they have to go back in no. for their own good. she knew yeah Hitler's dead shot himself in Berlin should have killed himself three years ago saved us a lot of trouble yeah he should have but he didn't During the following months, Allied forces discovered numerous POW concentration and death camps. These camps were part of the Nazi attempt to effect the final solution to the Jewish question. Between 1942 and 1945, 5 million ethnic minorities and 6 million Jews were murdered, many of them in the camps. Oof. Yeah. It's a brutal episode. All right. I honestly did not know that the soldiers didn't know about these camps until so yeah. late into. Nobody knew about it until they. Until towards they were, the end. Yeah. And, and I didn't realize that. It's yeah. crazy. Until they st literally stumbled across them on patrols like. Like they showed in this episode. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I've uh, been to the Dachau concentration camp in Germany. And um, the it's haunting. I mean, the it's, just, it's a haunting place mm -hmm. to be. Did they keep all of the concentration camps? And basically turn them into not, remembrance museums not all of them but there are like the auschwitz a few yeah auschwitz is i think the largest yeah i think that's the one they said the russians found was the one and it's in poland yeah. i believe and dachau was large they had 
gas chambers. I don't think that they used them in Dachau frequently because it was in Germany. Yeah. Um, hmm. yeah. I mean, Bertel. Yeah, I think that episode does a good job of showing like Nixon was having the worst week, right? Yeah. And then saw this camp. And yeah. Not so bad anymore. Yeah, he was like, well, it could have been worse. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's kind of, it kind of gave, and like Toy was complaining to the replacement guy about two years of hell and stuff. And I think all of them kind of were like, changes your perspective a yeah. bit. And this episode's called Why We Fight. Yeah. So it, I think it gave, showed the soldiers new and experienced what they were really doing there. Was, yeah. It was good. Yeah. What they were doing was right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's heavy. Yeah. Yep. Well, any other thoughts? Nope. Comment, like, and subscribe. We got one more episode left, and then we're done with Band of Brothers. Until next time, have a good one. Oh, look at all that whiskey, huh? How many bottles of Vat 69 do you think he took from that I place? I don't know. As many as he could carry. <laughs>
Awesome. What do you think you'll do after this? I get some breakfast. <laughs> Jersey. New Jersey. There's a company in uh, Nixon, New Jersey. It's called Nixon Nitration Works. That sounds picturesque. Yeah. Well, oddly enough, I know the owners. <laughs> We'll see how you do in your interview, but uh, you know, man of your qualifications, I think probably scrape something up. I, uh, I really appreciate it. Yeah, just think about it. Does he take the army job or his job? I don't know. I think we'll find out. Yeah. How cold is that water? It's July, so. Hopefully not too cold. Cold enough for shrinkage. I think most water outside the <laughs> bath is cold enough for shrinkage. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Roads. When are we expecting the engineers to arrive? <laughs> if you're looking for someone to find another way up that mountain, Easy Company is ready and willing. Duly noted. I already recommended you to Colonel Sink. <laughs> Sir, the criminal doesn't want us taking any unnecessary risks. So the French are going to beat us to the Eagle's Nest. Got to go to the Eagle's Nest. It's like a happy accident. We were going to go to some salt mines and forgot to get off the bus on the right stop yeah. and ended up yeah. going to the Eagle's Nest instead. It is at the very top of a very tall mountain. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. Now you fire up 2nd Battalion and I'd flank that French son of a bitch. Yes, sir. <laughs> Putting the best company in charge of beating the French. Up a frickin' mountainside. <laughs> wow. Kitty would love this. How many brides get a wedding present from Hitler? Wouldn't want that to happen. <laughs> He's like, damn it, somebody is getting a silver before me. <laughs> He got a whole set in the last town they were in. Yeah, but this isn't... He doesn't have Hitler's silver. Yeah. The Eagle's Nest was a surprise birthday present for Hitler. A mountaintop stone retreat. She went up there? Mm -hmm. up accessible by a gold-plated yep. elevator. A giant elevator. And the man was afraid of heights. It's because he was so short. It's so high, it's in the clouds, like... If you're not there on a clear day, you just are in clouds. We have a restaurant up there now. <sighs> no, God damn it, listen. Hitler, Hitler, no. Hitler. Have a drink. Come on. Just so as we can say we saw you do it. Listen up. <laughs> German army surrendered. I got a present for you. Come on. The war in Europe is over. At least in Germany. Can you imagine getting that news standing on that location? Yeah. Oh, look at all that whiskey, huh? Where's the VAT 69? Instead of an aggressive combat unit, we became an occupation force, and no one wanted to leave Birch's Garden. How many bottles of Vat 69 do you think he took from that place? I don't know. As many as he could carry. <laughs> hmm, Austrian woman. Good night, mate. Let's put another shrimp on the barbie. Nice. What? No. The architecture in this episode is... Just the Bavarian architecture in general is just so gorgeous, right? You may keep your sidearm, Colonel. Along the Jap southern defense line, the Yanks progress slowly, facing one of the fierce... Yeah, the Pacific Front's 
last a little bit longer. Views, but above all, means physical training. Get your NCOs on it. <laughs> that one guy's look is like I've been doing nothing but drinking since the eagle's <laughs> nest. <laughs> you let him get away. Army ought to be glad to be rid of you. I wish, you know. Seems they want me to stay around a while. You serious? How many points you need? Fifteen. Fifteen. Jesus Christ! I thought I had it bad. I got there having Swifty try to shoot that deer because he's the best shot. <laughs> For easy company, the winner is. Only one name. Announced that the 101st Airborne Division will definitely be redeployed to the Pacific. So, beginning tomorrow, we will begin training to go to war. Yeah, it's a gut punch, huh? We were just at war. <laughs> <laughs> we just did our jobs and won, and now we have to go back. I'm going to a little place more humid, too. Yeah. Two days later, Shifty Powers was on a truck. Unfortunately, the truck was hit head-on by a drunken corporal from another oh, regiment. Jesus. He survived, but had to spend the next few months in a series of hospitals. That close. Besides, she's waited for you for three years, right? We'll be to Tokyo and back in two years, three tops. <laughs> 13th Airborne are heading out for the Pacific right away. If I'm going, I want to get it over with. Are you in on this too? I can't let him go by himself. He doesn't know where it is. <laughs> You're leaving the men? They don't need me anymore. They got spears to take care of them. You got through Bastogne stone with that identifier you weapon. That is correct, sir. Didn't have much ammo. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Frank, I think you men have earned the right to keep you around. By Nixon. Is that, is that like a good thing or a bad thing? Well, he doesn't have to. He, he was ready to fight like next week. I know, but like them saying, no, you don't need to go. Is that them being like, nah, we're good? Or is it like, no, you deserve a break? <laughs> Feel look like the sound of music. Everything in Austria does. <laughs> Every hillside, you're like, that's from the sound of music. <laughs> How about you? I mean, you're a Tacoa guy, right? How many you got? Wouldn't you like to know? He got wounded too, so. 81. Huh? I have 81 points. <laughs> He's four points shy. Dead when they brought him in. Oh God! Oh my okay, gosh! <laughs> they wouldn't give me any gas. Crouts. I guess I'll just use his jiba. I don't think he's going to be needing it. Hold on a second, all right? <gasps> oh my God! You'd need a brain surgeon, and even if you had one, I don't think there's any hope. They took him to a crowd hospital to see if they could drum up any good doctors. You think you'll find a brain surgeon? I don't know. Like he said, even if he ha they find one, it doesn't look good. They find him? Talk to an officer, you say, sir. Uh. 
Have the MPs take care of this piece of shit. Grant's dead? No. Crown surgeon says he's gonna make it. Probably found the best doctor in town, huh? Oh, sir, you make your decision yet? Yeah, I did. What's his decision? Is he going to the Pacific, you think? Seems like it. Yes, sir. You'll be like a technical advisor. Make sure they get everything right. I understand, sir. Sorry, it's not a more hospitable location. <laughs> no, sir. Paris is, is just fine. The driver will drop you off at a hotel of your choice. I don't think we'll see you back here anytime soon. Paris seems like a nice location to be. Is this the uh, type of job I can expect from now on? Yeah. Cush. Cush job. Oh, him again. <laughs> Captain Sobel, we salute the rank, not the man. Hey, you prick. How rude. Man up! Mit euch gedient zu haben. I'm proud to have served with each and every one of you. We deserve long and happy lives in peace. Good speech. Wake. Time to go to bed. I'll wake you up. George Luss became a handyman in Providence, Rhode Island. 1,600 people attended his funeral in 1998. Oh. Mm. Lots of jokes to tell of that one, too. <laughs> Bull Ranneman was one of the best soldiers I ever had. He went into the earth moving business in Arkansas. Looks like a bulldozer. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the earth moving kind of guy. This morning, President Truman received the unconditional surrender from the Japanese. War's over. They didn't have to go. That field was there before they made camp. One little part. And I'm proud to be a part of it. Great casting for that one. Those are the fellows that are still buried over there and those that come home to be buried. He looks like a babe. He said, from this day to the ending of the world, we in it shall be remembered. We lucky few, we band of brothers. Grandpa, were you a hero in the war? Grandpa said no. But I served in a company of heroes. Oh, jeez. All right. That was a great show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great mini series. Yeah, and just seeing all those people, the, all the men there at the end, and how well they casted all yeah. the actors to play them. I think it was well picked for all of them. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, Dick Winters there, with his band of brothers, He's telling his grandson. Mm -hmm. He served with the company here. So. Yeah, beautiful. So, what's on your mind? It's really good. What was your uh, favorite aspect of the whole series? Right there at the end, them playing baseball and getting the news that they didn't have to go to the Pacific. Yeah. 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 So I wonder. When we watch Pacific, we'll see the dates, right? Because this was in, what, July? 1945. Yeah. I wonder how, how late it got into the year they were training there. Before yeah. the I can't remember the exact date of the Japanese surrender. So the sad part about this episode in general is the war was all but wrapped up, but still 
losing men from just stupid, stupid, stupid stuff that didn't have to happen. Yeah. Recklessness and yeah. stuff like that. So, yep, that is the unfortunate part. So of this close episode. to getting home, a lot of them, mm-hmm. like um, the soldier that uh, Tom Hardy played, mm-hmm. just freak accident, and boom. So, yeah, and Nixon, the fact that Nixon never fired his gun. Yeah, I and mean, he said that like two episodes ago that he jumped and he seemed getting and. Yeah, he's jumped. He jumped the most yeah. or something, and he never fired his weapon. And though. He jumped out of a burning plane there towards the end, and Man. never fired his gun. And that one uh, officer was surprised that Winters hadn't fired his gun since uh, Holland. Mm-hmm. So, I wonder how surprised he was when he heard Nixon <laughs> never fired his gun, right? But yeah, just the uh, you can see like Malarkey, who was shooken up the most after Baston after seeing. His friends lose Garnier and, getting yeah. blown up, basically. Yeah. You can see that hurt still in his eyes when he, he talks about it. Mm-hmm. It's just can't imagine. Yeah, can't imagine. Never forget those sorts of things, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah. And like they said, coming home, they all tried their best yeah. to go through the horrors of war and then just try to live a normal life after that. Mm-hmm. They tried to put it behind them. I think most of them did. It's difficult for all soldiers then and now, and can't imagine. No. Nope. But we thank all of them for their service. Absolutely, yeah. So, well, any final thoughts? No. No? What should people comment on? Nothing. Do you have a uh, family member that was a veteran? Tell us what they did back home when they came home. Like, what was their occupation? Right? It's yep. a good theme for this th- this episode. Let us know. Uh, they, you know, work at a shoe factory. They sell cars. You know, very job as they said for every man that was in the in the company. Right. They all just went back to normal guys. Yeah. Yep. So it'd be fun to hear. Let us know. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out for Band of Brothers. Yep. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full commentaries, or access to polls. Help us pick what we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.